Well, 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 well. Welcome back to Super Mega Cast. Uh, Another episode. Yeah, 307. We're still here. Sorry, I actually just like jumped into it without even asking if you guys were ready. Are you guys no, are I mean, you ready? Are you, I mean, we're, it, we're ready now. Is it happening? It's happening right now. You are, there's no going back from starting the podcast, unfortunately. So wait, wait. Th- we already started. I'm ready. Okay, yeah, there you go. <laughs> there we go. See? You, I'm going to be fit. No, I'm not going to be fiddling with this because it fucking... My finger gets raw after after a couple. You gotta be careful. You, you, you switch to your nail, or become like a avid smoker. You just work. get a nice callus, which makes there it easier. Go. Did you have Those one mm-hmm. your right there? Really? Oh, uh, well, we have a special. Enough about smoking. We have a special guest today, the one and only, wonderful. Please introduce yourself. Hey, I'm I'm Abelina Sabrina. You can call me Sabrina. It's like Amelia Bedelia. <laughs> I like that. Uh, Amelia Bedelia? Who's that? What? You don't know who Amelia Bedelia is? No, you know who Amelia Bedelia is. Wait, seriously? Is. Um, it's like an old uh, kid's book, huh? Yeah. It, oh, it's a book. It's it's, oh. a, it's like a children's series where it's like she's really stupid. And I'm not calling you stupid. <laughs> I'm just saying like they'll be like, she's like the maid for this house. And they'll be like, Amelia Bedelia, draw the drapes. And then she'll sit down and draw them on a piece of paper. Was there a book series about like a very rude girl? Judy. Judy B. Jones? Judy B. Jones. Yes. <laughs> Of course. What a bitch. Do you know? Yeah. You, What's that do about? you know Junipe oh. Jones? <laughs> did you Did you not read these books? These children's books? No, it's they sound familiar. You read Captain Underpants? I remember Captain. Underpants. You know, so Captain Underpants yeah. is known. Okay. Super Diaper Baby. Do you remember that one? I remember Super. That Diaper one was Baby. fucking awesome. Uh, I read that one a lot. Anansi the Spider. Nazi spider? the spider? No, a Nazi. A, a Nazi spider. A, a, Nazi, a, Nazi, a Nazi spider. A Nazi spider. It's, a, it's, a, it's an African, uh, like bedtime story. Uh, I don't think I read that one. There's a spider. No. There's little spider children, and they all almost die or something. I oh, can't Charlie's remember. Web. It's close, but it's a Nazi. It's a Nazi. It's a no. Nazi. It sounds no. like you're saying it's a Nazi. It's and and a also, Nazi is not much better because Nazi just sounds like Nance, Nance <laughs> which is probably my favorite I mean, British slur. I'm not. A, don't say that. You don't <laughs> stop it. You're a bit of a nonce. I'm a bit of a nonce myself. Do you Wait, know what nonce means? Nonce like na- like Nancy? No, N O N C E. Oh, it's like no. you, you it's, fucking nonce. You nonce. It's a British uh, swear What's word. Nonce? What does it mean? What does it mean? Oh, oh. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I thought they just call him pedo. They they do, but not nonce You're is a pedo. also. Also, maybe bleep when I say that, just so it doesn't get picked up by the system. That wouldn't for be fine. for the leap nonce? No, 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 not nonce. Nonce is fine. I'm saying okay. when I said what it means oh. because you know, like the uh, the transcription system, be like, oh, what's that? And pedo, we could be talking about like pedialyte or yep. feet, you or, know, because it's isn't that weird though? Like, like a stem for foot? Yeah, is, yeah. Podiatrist, it's like a oh. foot doctor. Pedi- pediatrics, right? Or or ped. Like pee? Like you peed your pants? Yeah. It always makes like it down to my peed. feet. Oh. I can't but, remember the last time I peed my pants. It's been a bit. It's it's been a bit. I don't remember. Either. Jim did it uh, a couple no, years he, ago. Did, what? He he was drunk and he was. I, maybe this uh, isn't my story that to tell. <laughs> <laughs> hey, maybe it's not my story oh, to tell. But he was basically just trying to get into his apartment and the door was locked and he had to pee so bad. And oh, no. I saw the picture. It, it actually it was. He took a picture. Yeah, it's like a, it's like a, when you one of your Sims, moments. when you don't let your Sims use the bathroom and then <laughs> it just like pisses. Yeah. But the thing is, like, if you're a guy, can't you just like, I'm not going to make it. Let me just whip it out and go over here. Can't you just Yeah, but that? he's in an apartment complex. Yeah, but he, he could have gone like what we did when we had to go pee really bad on Hollywood Boulevard. We could have gone, he could have gone behind a dumpster somewhere. Yeah. Which I'm is still, what we did. I'm yeah. still scared about that. Why? Like still to this day. Like they're gonna ca- security footage out there. Yeah. I mean, this is an admission, technically. They can't. Well, the statute of limitations probably has passed by yep. now. But that was at least that was the night we went and saw Tim Allen. Also, it's a comedy in podcast, and I I was joking. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's the, in a in a video game. Yep, no, in we, Minecraft. We saw him in real life. We saw Tim Allen do stand up live. The oh. uh, first time our editor Justin was visiting us, we took him surprise trip to uh, the Laugh Factory, where we saw Tim Allen do his conservative stand up, and it was tiptoe around the N word a bit. I bet he just said it, and yeah. it was uh, hooting and hollering. I was, I was, I was clapping and laughing, and you know, I was having a great time. But what, what was his thing of calling California? He called it the People's Republic of California. That's it. The People's like, Republic. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What? Like comparing California to China. I'm like Tim, you live here too. <laughs> like, you're paying taxes here too, brother. He, uh, his, he was wasted. He was uh, so for his set. Yeah. Oh yeah. He was fucking. He gone. was off his rocker. He was, he was slurring a little bit. Like his words or like slurs? Oh, both. Well, both, both, both. Oh. He, he was slurring, slurring his slurs. slurs. Nice, dude. <laughs> oh. Yeah, no. Basically, uh. he uh, 
all of his jokes were just like, so what's with this PC bullshit? And everyone's like, whoa! Wait, isn't he the Santa Claus? And Buzz Lightyear. And, <laughs> no, I was about to say Maynard. That's later the cable guy. Tim Allen's got to be someone else, right? No, he's, uh, he, he's I mean, the he's Santa Claus. He's Buzz Lightyear. Home Improvement. Oh, yeah. Home, yes, yeah. But I don't think that's like a, it's... Famous cocaine smuggler. Oh, that's actually... <laughs> Yeah, he got arrested in the. You never seen for... the classic? Like he has a really cool stash. The classic photo of him, like the mug shot of him after he got arrested. Juno B. Like... Jones, Tim Allen getting arrested was... for cocaine. I thought that was Billy Mays. Billy Mays probably also had something to do with I... cocaine, but that's I... what I'm thinking. Billy but... Mays looks like his partner on Home Improvement. Yeah, yeah. Check this out, Al. It's... Yeah, right. How much cocaine? He had a lot of cocaine on him, though. Like, like a, like a trafficking right. quantity, right? I'm, I'm showing, I'm showing oh my God. Sabrina a picture of Tim Allen, sh Sheriff's Department, Kalamazoo. Mi <laughs> Kalamazoo. Okay. Kalamazoo? Is Kalamazoo? Is it's the type of place you get busted for cocaine. It's Kalamazoo, Michigan. Kalamazoo. I like that. Well, and then <laughs> Michigan. He, then he turned his life around. And Clearly. And became the Santa Claus. <laughs> yeah. mm. Smoking around kids, apparently. Well, he said that he hates kids. Kids. And he hates all the movies he's done. Like, he hates Buzz Lightyear. He hates... Wait, actually? Yeah, he hates the Santa Claus. He hates the Santa Claus? Yep. Well, oh, it's more no. like he just hates kids. Oh, that's fuck. What he, his whole thing was, he's like, they'd come over and I'd have to pretend to be Santa Claus. You know, and then they'd turn the corner and see me smoking a cigarette. Well, he's told this one on Late Nights, the classic, like, I'd be smoking a cigarette as Santa Claus, yeah. and the kids would think I'm actually him. He ruined Santa Claus for a lot of little kids. Yeah. But he, he made Santa Claus for, for many a lot more. more. Yes. So, so that's the important thing, right? Net good? That's yes. based on a Give and take. Life's yeah. all about give and take. Was the Santa Claus also your guys' sexual awakening? No, that was a pink Pink's, the Pink's music uh, video for you. Let's no, not, not what was it? I'm coming out so, so you, you better, better get this party started. started. And the song out. that got me that made my brain go, huh? Was when uh she <laughs> the, was like, You'll be stuff? kissing Ooh. my Oh, yep, made me go, uh oh. <laughs> It was like when you'll be kissing my ass, and I was like, kissing, <gasps> you can do kissing that. Pink's butt? That's, that's not legal. Naked buttocks? For me, it was uh, a character on The Simpsons, but I don't need to go into details on Wait, that one. Which one? A character that only appears in one episode. But so I, not... No, no, no. <laughs> no, not what you think. It, it was just, uh, just, just a sexy lady on The Simpsons when I was like... In like third grade, you don't want to like, give this away. Was no, it I don't. The bunny lady. Can, no, this is oh. this is personal to me. I. You can bleep oh. it out, Luke. I just want to know. No, no, I want to know. No, I'm no. Curious though. I told you about pink. Were they an animal or a person? It's a person. It wasn't an animal. <laughs> is it based on a real person? Was it a guest star? No. It wasn't a guest star. No, it was just just a character. <laughs> Why can't you say it? Who? I don't want to we've get been, into we've it. We've been best friends for years. I'll I'll talk uh, I'll talk to you about this later, man. I don't I just don't want to get into it. I just know it's is gonna. It a, is it's, it a bad look for you? It's gonna. Yeah, it's gonna start a thing, <laughs> and and I don't want to start any memes or any. <laughs> well, I think Could now it? we all know. No, it's nothing like illegal or bad. It's just it's 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 just embarrassing. Yeah. Okay. Well, see, now you're doing the thing where it's like if I don't say it, it looks like it's even worse. <laughs> I'm gonna assume it's gonna be like one of the aliens with the tentacles. Sure. Yeah. Yes. That's it. It's worse than that. No, it's that's it. That's it. That's that's gotta be. I was it. Tim Allen, your sexual awakening. Oh no, not Tim Allen. Ew. <laughs> oh no. Who? Oh, no, just Santa that? Claus? No, the, no. Well, no. Um, Bernard the Elf. Oh, Here Bernard the Elf. Oh, yeah. Okay, because right? he's, he's a sexy okay. little dude. Is it because yeah. he took control of the situation? Yeah, like he he had to teach Santa Claus. Like, all right. Yeah, he's kind of okay. he's kind of in charge. When yeah. you see someone coming and boss around your boss, it's like. Whew. We need that here. That's All what right. Jim does. Yeah, that's Jim. why that's why Justin's acting the way around us that he is. He sees power in all the wrong places. Yeah, he does. He's gonna. He's trying to climb that fucking ladder in the super mega. He's trying, fucking... he's trying to climb our ladder. Yeah, and you know he wouldn't hesitate to step on our hands on the way up. Our sexual ladder. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, we got a big sexual ladder here at Super Mega. What does the ladder look like? Like two penises with other penises as the pegs. Oh. It's not really like a bit. It's not like a smart or like witty. It's it's like the most basic. It is what it is. Okay, is it hard or are they are they flaccid penises? Well, it starts flaccid the... and then it gets. Thick. That's how you get. It's and it it, it can go as tall as. It's you get two stories. It's lonesome at the top. <laughs> we know that. Yeah. Because we're all so rich and successful, <laughs> right? 
You know how it is. <laughs> That's what's up. Um, what happens when you get to the top? You well, never, we never found stop. out yet. <laughs> Nice, dude. Dude, we've been now that the podcast is on. We've been video, fist bumping like fist crazy. Bumping, like it's like six times this episode already. Someone's gonna make a compilation <laughs> of all the fist bumps. We fist bump so much now, Luke. On the n next fist bump, you have to zoom in. Which one are you gonna zoom in on, Luke? I well, technically, Sabrina's because it was the very next one. I hope that in between this compilation, they put in that clip of Joe Biden fist pumping that guy from uh, Saudi Arabia. <laughs> oh yeah, I saw that. I don't he, remember his full name, he, but uh, he, uh, the um the 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 crown prince. Yeah, yeah, the crown prince. Just, 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 Joe goes up to him. He's like, <laughs> <laughs> "Yep." Well, avoid yep, getting COVID. The Luke. <laughs> well, speaking of our our president Joe Biden, well, our fake president, our real president, we all know. Yeah. DT. And um, but he has COVID. Yeah, I don't isn't know. Isn't that crazy? Isn't, out. That, isn't that nuts? He might have already died from COVID. Come on. He, it, but we found out today he has COVID, and that's. So should we do like a in memoriam of Joe Biden? Just right in case now, he just does in case die. He does die. Do you have anything you want to say about him? I, I just hope they do like a weekend at Bernie's type thing with him if that's the case. I think that's what they've been like... doing. True. True. I think that's what they've been doing. Since twenty twenty. Hey. Well am Man. I on the Stephen Crowder show? Yeah, I think what? you are. This I'm glad you came on the podcast because this is probably the second closest show to Stephen Crowder's uh Louder with Crowder show. We share a large oh, audience no. with him. Is Sam Cedar gonna pop out? <laughs> well, we do have a surprise for you. Is it Sam Cedar? Oh no! no. Uh, it's a it's a pretty great surprise. A uh, fucking nightmare. Why don't you why don't you reach under your seat? Get a little surprise for you. Oh, like it's already here. Uh huh. It's a it's a salad. It's salad. You got me a salad. Yeah, each guest gets a surprise, uh, and we thought, this why not? Dressing. It's where it, in the other room. <laughs> Oh, in the in the in it's, the dressing it's like, it's room. It's like a cereal box with a treat. The dressing's hidden inside the salad. Do I have salad? Damn it, Layton! He got like two salad things. In, wait, do I have a salad? Does nobody else have, have salad? salad? I don't have. Do a salad. Do you want some ranch? I'm good. You just like the lettuce? I'm so good. I'm glad you, you like our our gift, but that's so nice. Before we, you drop mm. this, dude. I love lettuce. Before Here, community salad. Okay, yeah. I'm gonna be honest, like a fucking guinea pig. Get in there, dog. I do not. Appreciate lettuce on its own that much. Really? I love dousing it in some ranch or something. I love lettuce on its own, man. I like spinach on its own. It's like drinking water that you chew. Yeah. Yeah. That's like celery too. Yeah. Lettuce has like like this lettuce is kind of sweet. I like that. I can't continue the podcast if you're gonna be wearing that with our background. Oh, I'm kind of blending I'm sorry, in. I, I wanted to bring it up. Oh earlier. yeah, dude. I'm blending into the background. Well, <laughs> you just continue the conversation. I'll be back shortly. I'm gonna go get you something else. Please, you know, get, get me something. Go into our our vast closet of shirts and, and bring me something to wear on the podcast. Oh, oh, hey, have fun, buddy. Okay. Yeah, lettuce is pretty fucking good. I could I could eat like a whole head of lettuce. Just go for it. That's what you're gonna do until Ryan comes back. You're just gonna mow down. <laughs> well, I don't think you're gonna finish it by the time Ryan gets back. At that point, watch me. <laughs> People get very upset if you chew into the microphone. I've oh, seen, sorry. I've, I've seen people, uh, no, 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 you're fine. I'm doing it right now. <gasps> some people, though, it really, like, it. it's like a, like it sets something off, like some primal rage deep inside. I hate chewing no noises by, like, people. Animals, go for it. I could listen mm -hmm. to my dog chew on food all day. Or, like, those dog ASMR videos where they try vegetables. People eating. Mm -mm. I hate you. I want to murder you. Sitting at dinner and it's silent and I just, just hear my dad. Just, I'm like, I'm gonna punch him in the face. I love him, but you guys don't like watch TV or something while you eat. <sighs> well, we don't eat together at all oh. anymore because you know, yeah, I'm 26 on the other side of the country. But in high school, he'd be sitting there eating and it would be silent sometimes. He'd be like, "Son, let's turn off the TV." What? Red Ugh. will pop with the purple. I think red will pop. <laughs> no, 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 Ryan. Uh oh. We We're, can't match? Can we both wear red? I, I don't want to... It seems like a, a different Should shade. Should I go change? No, you're it's... you're going to wear red? I, I, I just don't want to up upstage you. Did, should I grab something else? No, I'll wear this. Okay. Just a red shirt? Yeah. Does I'll, it have anything on it? I won't even look at what, what, what's on it. Surprise shirt! <laughs> I'll just put it on. Yeah. I don't want to see it. Did it's, you pick a good one, Ryan? It's just a red shirt. Just a red shirt? Okay. Damn it, dude! Oh. <laughs> Steven Universe, really? 
Because now, now there's just gonna be clips and screenshots of me, and it's just gonna look like I'm actually just like wearing a fucking. I heard it's a good show. Undersized seats, like ill-fitting <laughs> Steven Universe shirt. Isn't that your favorite show? <laughs> uh, it's one of them, but yeah. It's also the funny thing about I've never seen Steven Universe, but I always laugh at the fucking logo because it's literally just the communist okay. flag of Vietnam. <laughs> yeah, What's it's the exact same thing. What's wrong with Vietnam, Matt? Well, the no, com- nothing's wrong with Vietnam. <laughs> I'm communist Vietnam. Well, What's Vietnam wrong with is one of the, Vietnam? Vietnam is communist still. What? Good well, for them. I thought we won. We did. It. They just stayed. <laughs> <laughs> Look, this is the Vietnamese flag. Hold on. Yeah, you're wearing it. Yeah, I. <laughs> it's the same thing. It's, just, it's red yeah. with a yellow star, and that's that's the Steven Universe fucking. I like it. Yeah, I uh So if you're embarrassed about it being a Steven no, just, Universe thing, you can just say it's the communist Vietnam flag. Yeah, but it has Steven Universe on it and says trademark 2017 Cartoon Network. So that's an official shirt? I guess so. Why would they put that though? Like you feel like that looks would, awful. They wouldn't get the design. They're probably like legally it? required to. Oh. This is like a legal. I'm wearing you this put that like in the back. Yes. Show my support of, of the Vietnam, Viet Cong. Of communists. Yeah. The Viet Cong specifically. Right. Charlie. So Matt so. is communist confirmed. Yeah, uh, I think we all knew that, sis. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. Let's go to ad breaks. Guys, if you want ultra easy skincare that's actually made for your skin, Curology is the way to go. You'll get a custom prescription cream made for you by a dermatology provider for your specific goals. Whether that's tackling acne, clogged pores, skin texture, dark spots, fine lines, or something else, You start by taking a short online skin quiz, and if it's a good fit, they'll ship you your formula right to your door. You know, I got some clogged pores and some dry skin, and my formula that they, that Curology provided for me after I took that there quiz really helps, helps that stuff out. I use it every week, and Matt uses Curology too, for his skin. Yep. That is also dry, and and his dark spots. Oh, I got rid of all my dark spots with it. I use the facial moisturizer, and my face is smooth as a baby's bottom. Here, hold up. Yep. Yeah. Sounds like it, too. Didn't crack this time. Get started with Curology just like I did with a free 30-day trial at Curology.com slash super. Just pay $5 for shipping and handling. That's C-U-R-O-L-O-G-Y dot com slash super. Start your free 30-day trial. Cancel any time. Prescription subject to consultation. What 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 wonderful ad reads those were. Those ad reads were fantastic. Thank so you, good. Sabrina. Thank you so much. Um, and we have another surprise. While we were doing the ad reads, the champagne showed up at our doorstep. Uh, I put this shirt on in between the break. Forgot what? I was wearing it. Well, what, why didn't you? It? Why what didn't you keep saying? the shirt that I chose? I don't support Vietnam, Ryan. What, Matt? We fought a war with them. Why would I support them? I think it's more about the Steven Universe thing. I think it's the Steven Universe thing. Yeah. The shirt, whatever you want, but I, for, I, I went. That's a cute shirt. I got the. Yep, it's I didn't cute. even read it. I it put it on. Well. I saw the word cummies and I put it on, and then I went to go show my ID to get the champagne. <laughs> yeah. That's what it and I says. Was, you were out there with me. I, you didn't realize either. Uh-uh. We're both standing there, and I'm like, you guys are hello. Looks at my ID, and I'm just standing there in this fucking shirt. <laughs> What's it say? Just me and my daddy, hanging out. I got pretty hungry, so I started. To pout. This is from the last mail video? Yeah, it's from the most recent mail video. He asked if I was down for something yummy. I asked Hank Hill voice, what? (laughs) And he said he'd give me his cummies. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That was a good Hank Hill. What? Thank you. My my, my dad's voice is not anything like Hank Hill, but when I do an impression on my dad, it's always that because it's like the same energy, you know? The voice we do for my stepdad and your dad are about the same. Yeah, it's, it's always it's, Hank Hill's voice. Hmm. Jim Listen does up, sound more like Jim Hank does. Hill. Jim, Jim, not employee Jim. Uh, our, my stepdad Jim. Jim. He really is like, come on, boy. Yeah, he does sound That's... like that. And he's, a, he's red. Yeah. People talk like that for real? Mm-hmm. <gasps> okay, Ron. Okay, pussy boy. <laughs> I called you pussy. Boy. <laughs> That's not real. Yeah, he would call Ryan pussy boy. Why? Because <laughs> he was a pussy boy. I was a pussy boy, I guess. Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> that way. Because Ryan would, got so much pussy when he was younger. <laughs> oh. And he's like, hey, pussy boy. <laughs> yeah. That's it's pussy boy right yeah, there. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Go pussy boy. Um, Are we? You want my glasses? Are drinking it out of the brown bag? Ooh. Yep. <sighs> champagne a, out the brown bag. I got. Is this some nice room temperature champagne? Uh, mm. No, it's actually. 
Is it? It is room temperature. I thought it was cold <laughs> for some reason. Uh, we got the cheap stuff, and then we got the nice stuff. Okay. Are Which, they both room temperature? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Nice. Perfect. Great. I feel like people the, don't usually put ice for the nice stuff. Supposed to chill some wines, right? Some of them are meant that is to true. be warm. This is was, that the cheap one? No, this is. Which one do you think's the cheap one, Ryan? I don't know. Um, that one had a pretty little shiny. The one in the brown paper bag, or the one in the fucking box? They came from the same place. They came from a very cheap liquor store. So this was the nicest champagne they had at the liquor store. How much was that, Matt? I used my own money. I didn't use super mega money. Don't worry. That was that was thirteen dollars. Uh, this yep. was ninety. <gasps> All right. So we'll we be able to taste the difference. Yes, I, I will say, expensive champagne is really good. Really? Yeah. I've never had it. Last time I had champagne was at Disneyland. Oh. How? Because they have a uh, places where you could. They have certain areas in the Put park in where the they freezer. serve Perfect. alcohol. In California Adventure, mm -hmm. or did you get into like the secret spots in N Disneyland? Not the secret spots. I, I was. There will never be alcohol at Disneyland. <laughs> he That's he said there would never be cigarettes. Or no, they're smoking areas. I'm sure. In they they took them out now. They're outside the parks. There used to be. There used to be when I worked there. Um, as the characters, sometimes you would have to walk by the smoking section, and mm -hmm. the smoke would get stuck in your head, and you would just be like have have to breathe it the whole time. They have they have vaping sections though, right? Do they? Well, I don't I don't know if vape is Let it chill for It's not harmful to the lungs. As, wait, wait, wait. Um vape? secondhand harmful. Or second I don't know how to phrase that sentence. Well, are you spreading false propaganda bullshit about cigarettes again? From the tobacco corporations that want to, that the big tobacco wants to take down big vape. That's little me. vape. Little vape. No, they, <laughs> they own it. Marlboro owns Jewel. Do they? I love it. They bought Jewel, yeah. That and so they, they took out all the flavors that people liked so that it would do worse. Well, also, well the flavors got banned. The yep. FDA or the ATF or whatever. Weren't the tobacco corporations pushing for the flavors to get banned? Because they're like, what? yeah. Yeah, because so that people would just smoke instead. Like, might as well. Yeah, they want people to smoke cigarettes and not not vape. That's why cigarettes aren't flavored except for menthol, uh, and the things that are flavored are usually cigars, which you're not supposed to inhale. So that gives huh. them the little out. But then they make these. I can't remember what they're called, but they're in like a a black box, and they themselves are like cigarillos. They're little. They look like little black cigarettes, and they are cigarillos. Like but a, people smoke. They they taste like cherry. Like they, a black and mild. No, not a black what? and mild. It's I can't remember what it's. I've on. smoked my fair Switching? share of black and milds. My favorite flavor is Casino, or no wine actually with the wood tip. That one's good. You gonna look up yeah. black cigarillo? Cigarillo, yeah. I put the expensive stuff in the freezer for five to ten minutes so we okay. can enjoy it as intended. It's a little like John intended. Black. I've never seen those in my life. Never seen these? No, but they look fancy. They look cool. It makes me want to smoke cigarettes. I'm, well, I'm down. they're cigars, so you shouldn't inhale them. But back in the day, I did inhale those. Well, I didn't know you weren't supposed to inhale a cigar the first time I smoked one, and I just sat there <laughs> fucking puffing away, and I was like, why do people like this? Imagine the buzz on that would be insane. Dude, it was <laughs> unreal. Did you guys ever smoke Nat Sherman's mm -mm. in high school when you were trying to be Sherman's? cool? Nat Sherman's? That yeah, sounds like a kid I went to high school with that would be racist. Kind of. But they had, like, these, like, gold-tipped, colorful cigarettes, oh, and they're, like, shit. long and thin. They're, like, did you? you feel fancy. Just, like, a... A little bit in high school. Just a, just a tiny little bit. Just a touch. Bit. Like, my those body are, is I healed now. Those are woman cigarettes. Those are lady cigarettes. What makes you say that? Why would you say they're that? They're long and slender. I, like, yeah. In Japan, they have, like, women's cigarettes. And they're just Do skinnier. They? Yeah. Yeah. I like smoking those more than the regular ones because it was just like, it was like, it's a small cigarette. I yeah, like you it. Do. Yeah. It has nothing to do with the gender thing, dude. It's, so what if I like women's cigarettes more? It's all the same. L look, I think we're a bit heated. Maybe it would be better if we poured some champagne. If we put some alcohol into the equation. Yeah. I, I think that would be better. Alcohol is safer than cigarettes. So cheap first. This is Prosecco Brut, oh, product no. of Italy. I mean, this looks expensive, you know? Yeah. You never guess it's twelve ninety nine. Looks like alcohol to me. All right. Uh, What's your favorite alcoholic drink? Like your go-to? Honestly, champagne's pretty good or soju, but I already drank a bottle before we started. Yeah. <laughs> Why, hell. <laughs> Thank you for your help. Um, can you can you open that by itself? I've never really. Uh, <laughs> I got it. Don't worry. Okay. Don't. Where are you gonna aim it? It's there's not like a lot there's of equipment thousands in here. of dollars of camera equipment in every direction. There's a light right there. It's more. It's Tucker's light. I don't care. You can aim for that then. Wait. So I just take this off. You're just pointing it. You know. I I feel more. Yeah. If you. Okay. Oh. Okay. 
Can you just? Oh, okay. And now I use this, right? I already know. Gotta, I know what's gonna twist. happen. It's gonna overflow onto my pants. Well, there's no. No, the no, 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 already. no. You didn't shake. It's fine. Maybe that Uber driver did. It's a bumpy road. Armin here. or Arson? His name was Arson. Oh, a guy Armin named Arson? Arson. That's bad news. That's a crime. That's a felony. That's a badass or name. Arsenio Hall. He's named after the theater. Yeah, maybe. I'm just trying to give a more positive spin on Arson. Arsenio. Well, let's 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 pop it. Ooh. You're good. You're good, King. It's not spelling. Wow. It's I tried to do this open. the other night. Uh, ben Beal, white rapper, um, <laughs> brought a, uh, a bottle of champagne over. Um, well, he's white on the outside. Yes. And, <laughs> <laughs> and what? Can we talk about him on every podcast? <laughs> <laughs> and he listens to every episode and he texts me. He's like, oh, dude, I'm dying. <laughs> uh, yeah. Let's, let's drink some champagne. We're okay. seeing a movie with him tonight. What are you guys watching? Nope. What? The movie I, Nope I, I by Jordan asking. Peele. Oh. <laughs> Jordan Peterson's Nope. Nope. I didn't know he made another one. Oh yeah, it came out. It just came out today. Is like the, she, Sabrina hadn't day. seen uh, Jordan Peterson's recent video. No. So she, wa- she watched Peterson. the Noob Dude video and, and didn't know what you were referencing. That's for. That's for I her. just thought it was a good character. I didn't realize it was, you know. Based well, off that her character life. has a whole story arc. It was the gamer for God, and then. Uh, he gave up his faith when E3 got canceled, and now it's like a staunch atheist. Mm. Are you waiting to to so we all can sip yeah. it? Yeah, isn't that the proper way to do it? No, you don't have to. No, it's just there's too much bubble. I didn't, I didn't do a good. I pour. love bubbles. It's it's oh. bubbly. It's bubbly for you. Dude, a really a really cool trick is just to pour the champagne like this. <laughs> it's yeah. all ahead, baby. Hell yeah! Listen, who? Who doesn't Give me some like of that. head? I'll more head than my ex-wife, I'll, I'll at least. some of the head down. <laughs> it's just foam. It's just froth. <laughs> oh. Okay, he just died. Mm. It's foam. He wasn't drinking champagne. <sighs> Not yet. I'm trying to That's get the, the foam down. That's the best part. Okay. Yeah, look at that. This is a... Uh, Should we, um... I love Prosecco. Cheers to Elon. Yeah, cheers to, cheers to Daddy Musk to Elon? over there. Daddy yeah. Musk. Mm. Let's go. See, so, yeah, I, brought, I brought that in just to kind of help us out. Ryan, Thank can you please Daddy move Musk. your 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 cup? From right there. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> he has Henny. He's good. He's, he looks like he's just holding the thing of Henny. I mean, technically, I don't want to. I, I I don't want to. Is it, why, why are you making that face? I, I like it so much. I don't want to feel pressured, but yeah, this is at least for the live action bits. Whenever we've had a guest on. We've had yeah, him take a sip that. of the henna. Okay. Of the henna. Every every henna? guest every guest takes a <laughs> sip henna. out of the henny bottle. It's almost empty. A I lot. know. Mm-hmm. We need to get a new one soon. I've never if had you henna. want, if you're not comfortable with it, it's totally fine. Yeah. Okay. <sighs> Mixing alcohol is dangerous. I've never had henny. Henny before champagne. You're in the clear. Make make sure the mic okay. gets that satisfying little. Ooh. Yeah, and you don't need to. It is. It's because it's because we wet the whistle recently, and you don't have to worry about COVID or anything because the alcohol kills the germs. That's true. Eric, common etiquette, drank out of it yesterday, and then Jack's films drank out of it last week. But so everybody drinks it. Oh yeah, no. There's been a a lot of celebrities have sipped that Hennessy bottle. Are you guys gonna see um, Jack's films? His show that kept getting rescheduled. It finally like has a date. It's happening like at the end of the month. I don't think I'll see that. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Okay. It doesn't have to be a big sip. And we got, we got eyes are watering. Do you it's not, your first. Is it so? Is it so good that your eyes are watering? <laughs> These are tears of joy. Yeah, exactly. Now, do we, do we have to do a hot ones? And we like you know how we have happens. every time. Are you guys gonna dude. have one too? Sure, man. I fucking. Ooh. Ever since oh, the sorry. podcast went live action, we're just drinking now. That's. <laughs> it's like we wouldn't drink on the podcast, but now that it's live action, it just feels good to hold a fucking mother. We we had ten beers. Uh, <laughs> I love Eric, Eric, man. Each. Oh, I feel that burn now. It it stays. It's like heartburn. Oh, that's a good burn. That's how you know it's. That's how you know you're, you're growing some hair on your chest. <laughs> I <it's so> much, <laughs> yeah. did Almost. you get some? <laughs> Not yet. More than Matt, maybe. I'll... That's pretty easy to have more chest hair than me. <laughs> I have one chest hair, and I always have had one chest hair, Aww. one singular chest hair. It's right in the middle. Um, and it, it came out recently, and I was like, is it going to come back? And it did come back. Oh, like like you pulled it? It just came out, I guess. <gasps> I have I have a little bit of nip hair, as okay. I'm sure you do. I'm sure you do. But yeah. I don't, the rest of my chest, just just nothing. And I'm like, I've always like, oh, it'll come in eventually. But I'm like, no, oh, I'm 26 now. It's probably just not in my genetics. Maybe you know? when you get much older. Like 30s. 
And it becomes more peach fuzz. When my like, metabolism slows and, and then my face bloats up. Mm-hmm. And then I'm like, damn, I shouldn't have drank so much in my 20s. I look like shit. Can you put, like, Rogaine on your Yeah, that chest? does work. Because technically, it says only to put that on your head, but you can put it anywhere on your body. Yeah. You tried. I have, yeah. I uh, put it on my face. Did it work? It, I think it was more placebo. I think it, it takes mm. months to see. I was trying to grow the mustache. I've actually been thinking, Ryan. Yeah? Shaving all this, but with the short blonde hair... Maybe trying the mustache out. I, try whatever you want, man. I'm gonna I'm try the mustache. Game for you to try whatever. I just think you always. Do you not? You like, always back out way too soon. I, it's because I get fucking. I, I'm like, oh, I'm doing the mustache. I'm doing the fucking facial hair. And then I wake up one morning and I look in the mirror and the lighting is mm-hmm. shit. And I'm like, I, I can't look like this. It's embarrassing. Or I'm gonna go hang out with someone I haven't seen in like months. I'm in my awkward hair phase where it's just like a length where I have to wear hats for a good bit. What's what's awkward about it? I think it looks good. It just hasn't I, been I cut in a, a bit. It's very like, it's you a know, good length. It's very the scary ears. Ha- it hasn't been trimmed around the around the ears. Ryan, you I always look fucking right sexy. Now. <laughs> How about now? <sighs> Making my loins and in, in, enlarged. Aww. Hey, can you cool it with that glass over there? My bad. <laughs> my bad. My bad. I wish I had plastic. Oh, that is think? that's disgusting. The what? The champagne is? Uh huh. It's so it. sweet. It's not. This is sweet. I feel like it's not sweet enough. No, it's, it's it's too sweet. I need a dry champagne. Is that what the expensive one is? Dry? I don't know. Oh shit. I didn't buy it based on its on its on its notes. <laughs> oh. I'm not a fan of alcohol in general, so. so he just downs it when he gets it. He's like, I just want to get this over with. <laughs> yeah, this. You sh- finished? Not yet. I still have a good bit in the cup. Okay. Well, just, I want to compare these, so, so, right. taste this one, and then just remember how it tastes. I okay. Mind it. I well, mind if it. you like sweeter stuff, the next one might not, I have a feeling the next one's not going to be as sweet. But I like the, I like the less sweet, the sweet is, it gives me a hangover, and it, it's too, I used to love, I used to love sugary alcohol, and now it's just like, oh, like, des- like, that dessert, dessert wine wines. from Hungry that dessert you used to buy back wine. when we were like 22, like that shit was. Wait, from Hungry? It was it was like a Hungary. Hungarian uh, mm. dessert wine that Ryan would buy, and it was like I, drinking honey. I'm not a big like mm. alcohol guy, so whenever I get into it, it's like a cider, you know. Uh, recently, I've been getting Mike's Hard Lemonade for the Yum. for, for Ju- Justin loves them, and I'll yeah. drink one with him every every so. Justin often. just started drinking, so we're like, y- you'd like these Mikes, and now you know we get Mike'd yeah, out I of our mind with, with Justin. Yeah, Mikes are yeah. great if they want to sponsor us. Mike's Harder Lemonade. Mm. Mike's Pink Lemonade. They have Mike's Hardest now. Hardest. Yeah. That's his hardest. They have Mike's Hardest. How'd they get him so hard? You don't want to know. It's they saw Mike's they saw secret. Justin sipping out of that bottle, and it's not even Is made by a guy named Mike. Isn't that stupid? Who it's is not? it? No, it's made by some other guy. I saw someone. The other guys. Yeah, it's a great movie with Will Ferrell and uh, Mark Wahlberg. Hey, Will Ferrell, that guy's kind of funny. He is really. funny. What about Mark Wahlberg? He's... Going back to the Vietnam thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude. That's someone who does not like Vietnam. Well, it's not that he doesn't like Vietnam. He just doesn't like the Vietnamese. Right. The, oh, he, he said he, the country's beautiful. He's like, oh, it's a beautiful country. It's, the countryside's amazing. The Delta's the, so beautiful. But the people, whew, I'll tell you what, they really piss me off. For no reason. You know about dude. that, right? You know about Mark Wahlberg's what? speckled he, past with the Vietnamese people? Speckled? He doesn't mm-hmm. know about Juna B. Jones. Like you, th- you think... You think they're gonna know? Man, about- there's so much you need to learn. Not to mansplain anything here, <laughs> but I'm about to mansplain Mark Wahlberg's past. Mark Wahlberg did a hate crime on an Asian person. I think twice. What? He beat a Vietnamese man with a golf club and blinded him Wait, while actually? he was high on PCP. Actually, yeah. yes. Everyone just kind of like oh. forget. And this was like before Boogie Nights. This was before like anything. And he's still getting work. Are it was before he got work. Oh, are you see? Are you currently seeing Mark Wahlberg or something? Does this make it? Oh, are we no. stepping in the way of some? Okay. No, no. I'm. Okay. I'm I'm actually texting Mark right now. Oh, they're talking shit again. Maybe. No, I'm coming over there. I'm, t- I'm teaching those little fuckers a lesson. If I, if I was there on the podcast when they're talking shit, it wouldn't have gone down that way. Oh, what? there's a list of his racist hate crimes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's a list. I love his quote in Boogie Nights where he's like, it's my big dick and I want to film now. <laughs> hey, yeah. I mean, he has a wonderful voice for uh, no, yeah, comedic I uh, think Mark Wahlberg's a great actor. Delivery. In, in, Certain roles. Boogie Nights is one of my, despite Mark Wahlberg being a piece of shit, Boogie Nights is one of my favorite movies. I love Paul Thomas Anderson. It's a great fucking movie. Did you just scroll all the way down the list? It was too long. Mm. Yeah. 
but yeah, now you know a little bit about Marky Mark and his funky bunch. His funky bunch. <laughs> Do you know about Marky Mark and the funky bunch? What's the funky bunch? He was a rapper before he was an actor. No. Yeah. Good vibration. Yeah, that's what he's. That's, that's what he's known massive. for. No, we're no. no, we're promised. We, no, no, no. What, it, it's a good vibration. It's like good vibrations. Yeah. You know that song? That's Marky Mark and the Funky Bunch. You know that 100%. song? One hundred percent. Good vibrations. He used to wear a sideways hat. Dun, 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 bounce around. Dun, dun. You know that song, right? No, I think you guys are fucking. We're right. not. Not. I'll pull it up, no. Ryan. Pull it up. Pull that shit up. It's... Next, you're gonna tell me that that you don't know that 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 Jerry Seinfeld dated a 17 year old and brought her to the red carpet. I do know that one, okay. and that's gross. I don't get why he's still like nobody just talks about it. We talk about it. Good. Somebody has to. Just because I'm like, damn, Jerry, he's a player. Also, there's a uh, there's Paul. What's his name? Paul Walker. McCartney. Paul oh. Ryan. Walk. Not Paul. Paul, Paul Walker. Paul, Walker. Paul, Ryan. Paul Ryan. Well, probably <laughs> Paul, Paul Ryan. Ryan. But... <laughs> <laughs> right. I need money. What? That's Marky Mark. And oh. the funky. Well, the funky. Play bunch. a little clip of this song. She knows the song. You've heard it before. They played it like events. You know, they're trying to pump people up. Good vibrations. Luke, make sure you leave this entire silence in. <laughs> yeah. Wait for it. I wish there was like a 15 se yeah. second skip. Thing. Pump it up. Don't come to my show if you're being the means. <laughs> yeah. Okay. It's just, it's a long opening. That's kind a banger. I think we can ex we can cut some you know stuff off the list. I mean, probably like right. At... That one. That, oh, that, that doesn't, ring, doesn't ring any sort of nostalgic. This isn't tugging any like nostalgic strings of yours. Now I see. No. What? Now, now I now I now I see why mansplaining is a term. Well, because we know everything. You guys already messed it up. Because why are you calling it mansplain? Shouldn't it be man plain? Because there's no s in explain. Well, X. Not man playing. But man playing X, sounds X, like we're, we're complaining. Well, X, X is. Men don't yeah. complain. No, never. X plain? There is an S sound. There might not be. The, the letter X is like a, is a KS, basically. <laughs> you know? So it's like X. Then why don't explain. they just so spell it with a K and an S? I don't fucking know. Take it up with whoever invented English. We've had extensive, like, conversations about this Joseph on the podcast R. before. English. <laughs> <laughs> Joseph, uh, what's his middle name? <laughs> R, uh, R, just R. Rothenberry, I don't know. Joseph Rothenberry <laughs> Biden. Rothenberry, that's a middle name? <laughs> Rothenberry. Um, it sounds like an old middle name. Rothen Rothenberry. Rothen Rothenheimer. He'd, he'd have one of those like old guy middle names. Like how Jeff, you... Jeff Sessions was Jefferson Beauregard <laughs> Sessions the third, yeah, really? Which is an example of yeah. iambic pentameter. Do you guys know anybody named Crothers? No. Crothers? Crothers. Like, like as a Crothers. last name or a No, first like as name? a name. No. Like a YouTube name or like no, a real like, name? No, like a real name. No, that's mm -hmm. fucked up. I know. That's what I'm saying. There's one person named Crothers watching this right now. And they're like, is it an actual name? Crothers. Crothers is. Crothers is. Hey, get, a lo get a load of this one, Crothers. Sit and spin, bitch. <laughs> Y'all ever come across someone named Benjamin? Ew. No. Yeah. No, that's right? Not real. No, okay. Right Making sure we're on the same page. Here. No, to absolutely be frank, not. That's not real. Mm -mm. But you're not Frank. Mm, no, she's Sabrina. Yes, surely. To be Sabrina, yes. That's not my real name. Did you ever watch Sabrina the Teenage Witch though? Yeah. What is your real name? Not Sabrina. Okay. Is it Abelina? That's a bit longer than Sabrina. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wait, but I, I didn't. Is know Abelina? That. Wait, is Sabrina your last name? It's it's my middle name. Oh, okay. So Abelina is like your my... first name. Yeah, but I didn't know that it was my name for like the first six years of my life. I've See, I heard that word before. I thought your name was Sabrina Abelina, oh, and yeah. you were just swapping them for like the the name. No, the fun the funsies. No, that's just kind of how it is legally. It's a cool name. Thank you. my Abelina? mom wanted it to rhyme for fucking fun, and like my sisters, there's like Desiree Darlene, Eileen, Yvette, Caesar. He didn't get anything. He sucks. Oof. But um, does but he all suck? of us have. Su he does. Good. Oh, he's a cop. But yeah. Uh, um, pig. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, just you guys have fun middle names. Elias, Hobbs. All right. <gasps> Wait, actually. Mm -hmm. Yep. 
like the tiger. You sound like mm-hmm. book characters. <clears throat> so it, so Hobbs is a weird name for me, middle name. Or no, it's fun, it's a fun. <laughs> it's a normal Wait, middle normal name. middle name. I need to take a boom boom. <sighs> in front of the ladies, Ryan. Well, it would be what? in the restroom. Oh, it would be like into a, the toilet. Like a boom mic. Sure. Like a, yeah yeah yeah. Oh, okay. It, it takes about. Can I? Twenty five. Yeah, I mean, we can do another time. ad break if so you got to. So, so I could use the boom boom uh, room. We yeah. really love ads. If you got to take care of business, then you know, take be my guest. Take care of so, uh, yeah. <laughs> After years of fine print contracts and getting ripped off by big wireless providers, if we've learned anything, it's that there's always a catch. So when I first heard that Mint Mobile offers premium wireless service starting at just fifteen bucks a month, I thought, <laughs> what's the catch? But after talking to them and using their service, it all made sense to this little brain of mine. There isn't one. Mint Mobile's secret sauce is that they're the first company to sell wireless service online only. They cut out the cost of retail stores and pass those sweet savings directly onto you. I use Mint Mobile. I was tired of paying over $100 a month for a phone plan. uh, And then when I found that I could be getting the same great service for $15 a month, switching was a no brainer. I absolutely love it. And here's why. For anyone who hates their phone bill, Mint Mobile offers premium wireless for just 15 bucks a month. They give you the best rate whether you're buying for one or for a family. And it meant family started just two lines. All plans come with unlimited talk and text, plus high-speed data delivered on the nation's largest 5G network. You can use your own phone with any Mint Mobile plan and keep your same phone number along with all your existing contacts. Easy peasy, limb squeezy. Switch to Mint Mobile today and get premium wireless service starting at just 15 bucks a month. So, to get your new wireless plan for just 15 bones a month and get the plan shipped to your door for free, you don't even have to leave your house, go to mintmobile.com slash supermega. That's mintmobile.com slash supermega. Cut your wireless bill to 15 bucks a month at mintmobile.com slash supermega. What goes great with a summer vibe? How about a checking account with no monthly fees? Like a cool breeze, Chime is a refreshing way to handle your money. With no monthly fees, no maintenance fees, or minimum balance fees, it's how banking should be. And when you need to access your money, you can do so fee-free at more than 60,000 in-network ATMs at many locations like most Walgreens, 7-Eleven, and CVS. You can also send money to anyone, even if they aren't on Chime. Fee-free for you and no cash-out fees for them. That's probably what I love most about using Chime. When I have to send Matt some emergency money when he's off in Charleston and lost his debit card, it really comes in handy. Well, luckily, Ryan, you don't even have to do that anymore because I use Chime as my debit card on my phone. Chime. No monthly fees. No vibe-killing fees. Sign up for a Chime checking account only takes two minutes and doesn't affect your credit score. Get started at Chime.com slash super. That's Chime.com slash super. I certainly do love Chime.com slash super. And now a word from our sponsor, BetterHelp. In today's day and age, there's so much stress in the world. Uh, You guys know Life can be stressful, and a lot of people don't realize that it's actually uh, incredibly important to take care of your mental health, and it affects the quality of your life, and most people just kind of neglect it. But with BetterHelp, you can do it from the comfort of your own bedroom and become a much better you. How well would you take care of your car if you had to keep the same one your entire life? That's how our brains work, so why don't we treat them that way? How we care for our minds affects how we experience life, so it's important to invest time and care into keeping them healthy. There are plenty of ways to support a healthy brain, like learning a new language or taking power naps. There's also BetterHelp Online Therapy. I go to therapy, uh, and it honestly changed my life. Uh, seeing a therapist and having someone to talk to about my problems, uh, it's very reassuring, and also, you know, just having another unbiased perspective on situations or things about the way you feel is unbelievably helpful. And I highly recommend everyone do that. And you could do it with BetterHelp. BetterHelp is online therapy that offers video, phone, and even live chat only therapy sessions. So you don't have to see anyone on camera if you don't want to. It's much more affordable than in-person therapy. And you can be matched with a therapist in under just 48 hours. Our listeners get 10% off their first month at betterhelp.com slash supermega. That's better, H-E-L-P dot com slash supermega. Go take care of your brain, guys. Yep. I want to keep adding when there was a girl on the podcast. I'm not afraid. I respect that. What I want to do is, uh, oh, Jim, Jim's going, uh, I think on Tuesday to a neon company because I think they have a sample for a sign. Okay. I also want to get some shelves and we can just kind of keep just adding shit to this set and making it like just kind of build over the the years. That's nasty, right? Well, it's me. Yeah, but, but I, I can tell you objectively that's a gross champagne. That's not a good champagne. Hey guys, we're back. Just, uh, just waiting for. Sabrina. Luke texted me a picture of his penis yesterday. 
I didn't want to say anything, but Luke sent me. I think it's probably the same picture. He sent. It was like eleven o'clock last night. Mm -hmm. Let me see. Uh, is it this one? Yep. 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 Okay. It's like, on one hand, first of all. Second off, it's not even an original. Like you sending it to you sending. No, no, he's sending he's sending people. up his penis to multiple multiple people. people. I don't know if he knows he's sending it to multiple people. He has to know. Otherwise, it'd probably be like in a group chat by accident. Which it's not. No, it's, it's, in, it's, not this it's time. individual. Not this time. There's one where you, me. Oh, Luke literally just texted me. Did he? Yeah, he said IHOP has a minion menu. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. Luke is, uh... I'm gonna, I'm gonna text him right now. Stop texting my friend, Matt. Luke, Luke, the podcast editor, is, uh... Well, he texted a group chat I'm in. He didn't directly text me. But, he, you know, he direct, directly texted me last night. I did want to bring that up because I don't... Okay, dude, thank you so much. <laughs> I don't want to, uh... Like, I don't, I don't want people to dislike the guy. So I didn't want to bring it up. I, didn't, I mean, he just started editing He's an unlikable the guy. Naturally, yes. But but you don't want people to feel like you're pushing them towards a certain... End. No, he's good at editing and he edits the podcast now. So it's like, you good, know, good I'd like him. to stay on good, good terms. I don't know where he got the idea that sending pictures of his flaccid penis to us... Uh, was kosher. Speaking of kosher, I mean that thing, that thing ain't made of pork. <laughs> it's like a like a salami. Is yeah. salami pork? Yeah, it's yeah, like if you took a bunch of salami meat, bologna, kind of like wrapped it around in Vienna sausage. Yeah. Yeah. Go get a. Go get Sabrina. Yeah, Luke. So you can just like keep that whole opening part. Like start start where Ryan's like, yeah, I farted in front of a girl on the podcast, and then just roll from there. And then, uh, you can just do a little beep if you want to, like, pass time, like, beep, uh, for, if you ever need to skip time in the podcast, you can do that if you want. Just make sure the beep's kind of quieter, because sometimes that beep can be, like, Premiere makes it way too loud and it's jarring. What are you doing? You're taking a picture of me? All right, Luke, you can also keep in these, these editing notes I'm giving you. Um, <laughs> while Ryan's taking a, a .5 picture, I'm, I'm guessing. It to Luke. Luke, go ahead and put that picture up right now. Put put it where Ryan's sitting. <laughs> well, Is this just a cut in. Yeah. Well, I was giving him I was giving him editing notes on a uh, on how to how to like cut like time jump. <laughs> okay. Speaking of time jump, dude, we gotta talk about that new Better Call Saul. Good. <sighs> I'm ready it to talk good. about that, dude. It was unbelievable. That time jump. Sabrina. <laughs> sorry, I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I, I didn't yell. I raised my voice. No, I ra no, I ra no, I raised my voice. I if I look up the definition of yelling right now, it's going to say exactly that. No, yelling is with intent of anger. Is it? Well, you can yell for someone like, Matt, come home for dinner. If you're out playing in like the swampy. That wasn't a yell. That was, that was. Hey, Matt. Dinner's ready. I love, I love that whole thing where it's like, I didn't yell at you. I raised my voice. <laughs> yeah, it's the same thing. There's a before. difference. I was being stern, not abrasive. <laughs> but um, welcome back, everyone, from the second uh, ad read bit. So good. Um, they're just yeah. bits. We don't. We're, we're, not, we're not actually sponsored. We just want to <laughs> look more professional, so we just give these companies free promotion. You're in the pocket of big. Big podcast, shoe. Big, big shoe, <laughs> big shoe. Hey, these are some nice shoes. They they that look pretty a big good. Shoe, man. They're they're both lefties. They're, which, we, got, hey, we got a pair of Tims on the table. God loves the left. Aren't we all lefties? <laughs> <laughs> you're you're a political That's, analyst for CNN, right? For CNN, I see they're, you on CNN. Yeah. They're not quite, left. but yes. Yeah, Would you consider yourself a political analyst? Political like, like, analyst. You know the uh, sure you you could say <laughs> analyst if you want. I knew a kid in high school that would only say anal. Anal cis, like, or actually, uh, yeah, like fully seriously. He's like, that's how you say it. I looked it's not it up. How you say it, oh, I think analysis so. sounds like a Freudian. But you, slip. uh, I mean, you're you're known for for your politics. Yeah. And uh, you know, Ryan and I are known for our politics. <laughs> what on a bit opposite sides of the spectrum. Oh, but see, we uh, like we like hearing different voices like, on this like podcast. Like very recently, with an with 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 a situation that was going on with the Supreme Court, you were very upset. We were elated. And you know that's just everyone has different views, so right. Just respect our also, beliefs. Also, the whole January. I respect 6th your thing. beliefs. Why can't you respect where, mine? Where? The January sixth thing. We like just because we were there didn't mean that we did anything bad. Oh, you were there. 
We were in, mm -hmm. yeah, we went into okay. the, inside the castle. That's no secret. Wow. And we live streamed it. We, almost, get, we almost succeeded too. Did you get anything? Maybe next time, buddy. Maybe next time. Did you There's get always any, tomorrow. Did you get any good pictures? Oh, yeah. I, I put my feet up on Nancy Pelosi's desk. Ooh. I saw, I saw <laughs> an edited picture where someone just like replaced her screen with like a, like Fruity Loop studio. It was like, <laughs> it was like cooking up in Nancy Pelosi's office. <laughs> cooking up? Yeah. God. But yeah, so you're okay. known for your politics and, Love uh, it. I, I had somewhere I was going with this, and I, now I just... Some about how pol how Asshole. even though we are on opposite political ends of the spectrum, we can still join together to, en uh, yeah, to, to enjoy, enjoy the, the, some champagne. The horseshoe theory is very r real. Yes, mm -hmm. it is. Yeah, I, you know, I, the what, right what is this and the theory? left are... Because, you know, a horseshoe where they come together right here, but it's wide in the middle. Oh. But when you get to the bottom of it, the left and the right are like basically the same. Is that is so it, that that's the horseshoe theory. So you're a constitutionalist. So. <laughs> you're a constitutionalist libertarian. That's me. That's me. Okay, I'm hearing mixed things. Did they codify gay marriage yet? They they are they, they, they in the they they're trying it in to the Senate right? And that's but it has to go house. through the House. Not they're trying. Well, that, a lot of Republicans are like no 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 yeah. no no yeah we can see how they vote. They're like no and so it would be same sex marriage and interracial marriage. Why is that something that needs in 2022 wait, to be? Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. wait what? Are both of them? 1945? Or is it like they're, they're two separate bills or both of them at the same time? I keep hearing it being talked about at Was the same time. Was interracial marriage never codified in America? I don't think so. <laughs> well, it's gross. <laughs> Matt. I'm kidding. It's a joke. Jesus. Get, this woke culture is fucking this ruining comedy. Sorry, we had to cut back in. Sabrina was talking about her support for Israel, and uh, I'm gonna open up this champagne. Oh, oh, the, is this the expensive this is, one? This is this is the this is the fancy stuff. Ooh, time for champagne socialist Pro time. Pronounce this, Ryan. Ooh, um, uh, web, uh, click what? Okay, it's sure. I see. I don't know how. I, I don't know how to pronounce. Vive French. le quoi? No, vive le vive we, click what? Where click what? Friend, who's calling me? Who's calling you? It's a fucking random number. Hold on. Put him on the microphone. Uh, hello? Hello? This is Speaker. This is he? Yeah, hi. I was just calling to refill your CPAP supply. I don't need a refill on my I, CPAP my, my Oh, I don't need a refill on that right now. I don't have sleep apnea anymore. I don't need to He's curious. Okay. Just uh just check up if uh, whenever you need to. But right now I don't need it. Oh, I'm sorry. What did you say you broke up there? Oh, I just said check up whenever you need to. I just don't need any refills right now. Okay. No problem. We'll definitely follow up with you. Oh, thank you very much. I look forward to it. Thank You're you. Welcome. You're welcome. Bye. Okay. You little shit. <laughs> Day. You, you know she doesn't like her job. You made her day. He's like, all right, this person is nice to me. All right. Yeah, so no, no. When I got diagnosed with narcolepsy, they're like, oh, you have sleep apnea too. So they <gasps> made me get this expensive ass machine and I tried sleeping with it and I'm like, this isn't, and, and then I realized I don't think it was sleep apnea. I think that it's because my septum was deviated. Yeah. So I had the septum surgery, fixed. which I sleep fine now. But but I they try to always, they're like, we want to send you more CPAP equipment. I'm like, why do I need to, what do you mean Well, refill? you're going to get another call. I don't know what refill means. It's like tubes. Oh, that's em what? that's completely empty. I drank all mine. Mine's completely empty. We need the. We are it looks the fucking same. Stop Wait, it. The champagne I... always wrapped in We're like champagne. foil. Socialists on this podcast. We're <laughs> socialists. Are you? Yeah. Nice. Nice. That's oh, yeah. fucking sick. But you know, you know what I was saying. I'm gonna a libertarian. Say? Oh, same. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a member saying. of the Green Party. <laughs> <laughs> well, the Greenies are there. Um, <laughs> they are. They're most definitely somewhere. I'm part of a, what is his name, Bob Ezekian's uh, new communist. Part. He's that really radical there... communist guy that puts his flyers all over L.A. But can you register as a communist for like your political party when you're changing when you're changing your voter? No, when I registered to vote, there were two options: Republican, Democrat. Oh, there were three: Republican, Democrat, or other. No, that's there's way more. When in I California. did it, I did it through the DMV. in California. There's more. Yes. But There's also, so do, doesn't branches. like what you're registered as, like it can affect certain things. Like, can't people look it up? If well, I don't think you can officially register as communist, but I think if for whatever reason, um, I think it, 
like you can't be a public teacher in California if you ever were a communist or something like really? that. Oh, okay. No, that's a law from like the Red Scare. Yeah. They, yeah, they so put that old. in place like super long time ago. But I don't think they ever, I don't think they ever fixed it. And then there's American oh, Independent. Oh, oh, oh. American independent. But that's not actually independent. If you actually want to be independent, you have to register as no party preference. But if you register as American independent, then you have to, um, then technically that's like a, a wing of the conservative side. You're, that's right wing, basically. So if you're registered as American independent, you cannot vote for a Democratic um, election in the primaries. What? I was a poll worker one time. Oh, um, wow. What fucking yeah. faking all the votes for for Joseph Brandon? No, not this, not this election. In 2016, a lot of people wanted to vote for Bernie Sanders in 2016 when it came down to the primary between Bernie and Hillary, basically. And some people uh, registered as American Independent, thinking, "Oh, Independent, I could vote for whoever I want." But California has like a semi-open primary, and and so they got to the the booth and they were like, "Oh, I'm not allowed to vote between Bernie and like is and it just Hillary. not on there?" No, well you. You get a separate ballot. Like, you had to get a provisional ballot, which means that at the Democratic Party's um, discretion, they can throw away your ballot if they want to. So, good. Which, that was, which if it had no, Bernie on it, Ryan, they probably no. would. No, not, not good. bad. Not very bad. bad. Very bad. Bad. Yes. Thank you. Okay. Ryan? I'm done. Ooh. Let's get you some. But, uh, but not too bad. Like, just somewhat bad, right? Yeah. Hillary was so it's good. This yes. A bit of a, this of a is the fancy. Bitter. Tastes like a. This is the ninety dollars champagne. Someone's gonna look it up and be like, "Dude, it's like forty bucks," and I got overcharged. Smells, smells like some. Thank you. Good pour. Smells like some spoiled whitey tidy. Oh no! See, that's the thing is when you, when you pour <laughs> beer or champagne, you got to do it at an angle so it doesn't foam up. I. Do we still have the other one? <laughs> yeah, there's some. <laughs> is this one ruined for you now? <laughs> oh, I smell it. Well, now that you have said that, Ryan, why'd you fucking say that? <laughs> You know, a little bit of sweet and tanginess in there. Yeah, yeah mm, sure. Sweet and sour. All right, all right cheers. cheers. Cheers to to the last bit of the cast and be, be being friends. We're already at the end. Well, not yet. We're in the last. Third We're in the last like, okay. stretch. All right. Yeah, the lights at Final. the end of the tunnel. This That's funky. That's. I like that more than the other one. I don't. I think I like the other one more. I think the other one was easier to 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 just gulp down. I think so too. This one, this one, I will say it's a little funky tasting. It's got a like underwear taste. Oh, I wish we had cheeses and charcuterie. Oh, I love. Oh, yeah, I love wine and cheese nights. Yeah, wine and cheese nights are my favorite. There's never been cheese that I've tasted that or had that I didn't like. Yeah. Really? Mm -hmm. I I tried the maggot. I would. I, oh, I would too for sure. The you know what? about the maggot cheese? <gasps> no. Cheese with maggots no. in it. Yeah. Gordon Ramsay ate it and was like, I'm like "Oh that. fuck!" We've had stinky cheese before. Not just a lot cheese of that smells bad. There's, there's a couple cheeses I'm not a fan of. Brie is one of them. <gasps> Brie's That's good. the best one. Brie is there's a bitterness to it and yeah. I don't like it. Are you eating a the lot, rind? There's a lot of sweet. Uh, you Are need you to go to, to a cheesemonger. Goes to a, go a cheesemonger. Is yes. that what they're called? Yeah. That sounds illegal. That, or that, that sounds ancient. like some horrible slur. Fucking cheesemonger. Cheesemonger. I think that's what they're called. Hold up. Um, a couple cheesemongers moving <laughs> in the neighborhood. It just sounds bad. <laughs> Fucking lazy cheesemonger. I know monger like, isn't monger like a like a merchant. That, that well that, well I've, I've heard like fear monger. A, a, right. a, a monger is just a, a is just a merchant. So a yeah. cheesemonger but is that's just like, a mer cheese merchant. I feel like that's something they said in like 1200 and but it just never changed. Well it's weird because to explain what a cheesemonger is, they say they use the word cheese shop. But is it a cheese shop or are you going to the cheese or a cheesemonger? It's going. It's that's like a drug dealer for cheese. If you like go I'm to the going to the butcher shop, mm. you know that's a is butcher. Is there a cheese shop around here? There's what? a couple. Yeah. yeah. Actually. Mm -hmm. They 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 usually close like at five though. Yeah. There's one called Say Cheese that's pretty it's good in Silver four. Lake. Uh, there's there, another one in. Uh, there's one literally called Cheesemongers in Sherman Oaks. Oh, that's awesome. There's one in that's Eagle Rock. Far. From here. Hey, man, you got to go all over the place for some good for cheese. For the good cheese? Mm. I've had some... I, I like really weird... I like trying really weird I travel ones. for my cheeses. I'm not I'm not right. opposed to traveling for some good cheese. When do we have another yeah. wine and cheese night? We got to... Can we, we do that soon? Yeah, and next Please? time we do it, let's let's get some weird ones. That like, yes. Like, let's be like, what the fuck is that? Yes. Let's fucking try this I'm one. I'm so down. I love... With the pepper jelly I and the crackers? love cheese. Pepper oh, jelly? Pepper jelly, cheese, crackers. Oh. Can some I wine. come? <gasps> uh... Uh, like a 
guys only thing. <laughs> Jeez, no, no, you can come. She, she, she wants to come. Just this one. We'll have a fake one before it. <laughs> and then the real one. Is okay. Just... Yeah, you can come. Just show up at like, like seven and then crap you have to singles. Leave. You have to leave by around 7 30. <laughs> Yeah, we they, we we only do them for like fifteen minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine faking a hangout just because someone you don't like is coming, so you do a Listen. fake hangout. It's like, all right, it's done, and then the real one starts. We've, after. we've all been there. I'm sure, like, I'm well, I'm sure we're no we're no strangers to it. But just because we're out of high school doesn't mean people still act, aren't aren't acting, you know, a little uh, stupid and immature. There are a lot of adults who are. I thought that when I got out of high school. The drama would Same end. with college, actually. I was like, I was like, oh, you know, college, I'll give it a pass to The too petty, because... clicky drama will stop. Oh. Yeah. I was like, when I'm an adult, like, when, when I'm a grown-ass man, this will, you know, I won't have drama in my life anymore. No, it's quite the opposite. I think I have more drama in my life than I... I didn't have drama in high school. This smells like something I should throw out. Like, if I smelled well, this fermented. in my kitchen, I'd be like... Okay. Mm. All right. The old one's still right there. Oh, my God. Wait. Get it. What? Guess Is that not ninety dollars? No, but guess who it's by? Mark Wahlberg. No. Who? Ryan, guess who this guess who this champagne's by? OJ Simpson? <laughs> no, but that stuff is good. What? Hennessy. No. What? Imported by Moe Hennessy USA Incorporated. And they have the Hennessy logo right there. Mm. Yeah, the other champagne is so sweet. So smooth. we're just drinking Henny again? Some form of Henny. Well, like the brand Henny, but not the I had Dom Perignon once that was seven hundred dollars, and that was delightful. What are you doing with my microphone? Who's Don? Hmm. Hmm. Ryan, you're, you're gonna make the microphone fall. No, I'm not. It's a delicate balance. The, we mounted it to a fucking step I'm ladder. I'm not doing anything. You're twisting. On the it. audio, uh, in the audio listeners universe. Stop twisting it, dude. Yeah. Twisting what? what? My fucking twisting mic stand because shout. it's already ba it's barely on there. And dude. Let it all out and scream. And shout and let it oh, all out. No, I was doing the Beatles one. Twist and shout. Oh, I, and I was thinking of Tears for shout. Fears. Yeah. Shout, shout, let it all out. These are the things, things I can do without. without. Come on. Doom. I'm talking Doom. to you. Oh, yeah. Come on. There it is. Tears for Fears is great. Good times. I yeah. would never cry, though. You know, also is great. What? Good vibrations. Oh, Mark by Mark and, Mark yeah. and the Funky Bunch. See, when someone says good vibrations, I don't think of the Beach Boys. I think of Mark and the Funky Bunch Yeah. first. Like, Brian Wilson can take a back seat for this one, all right? Brian yeah. Wilson and Mike Love can go fuck themselves to be, to be yeah. quite frank for copying Marky Mark Give and his Funky Bunch. Give themselves some good vibrations. Yeah we, yeah, we don't need that shit. No. You need good vibrations. Fuck off with your beach bullshit, man. Uh, fuck the beaches. Get some Marky Mark up in here. Mm -hmm. I remember they were saying Marky Mark and the Funky Bunch is the Jackson Five of this generation. What are you? Were you tuck? Are you tucking your shirt in? No, I had my my uh, my my he, back he's, brace. He's doing your like one of those trainer. things. He's trying to simulate he's what it's got, like to be pregnant for a week yeah. to understand the pain women go through. How is it? He's, he just I have a lot of respect for women today. Oh, cool! Not today. Today, not today. tomorrow. Mm. Tomorrow it'll be run out. Yeah, I mean t tomorrow I'll. Be fully a man again without this. On. I I don't want to. I don't know how many episodes it was before we got a a, a woman on the podcast, and I don't want to know. Was Pam? Who the was last the last guest? woman? No, no, we've had we've had Pam a handful of women. Now. Pam from the office. Yeah. No, uh, uh, Gemini. Yeah, Lindsay, negative Gemini. Yeah. Was that the last? Is that a name uh, or her? No, sign? no, 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 Anissa. <gasps> yep, oh, Anissa. Anissa. But we don't talk about Anissa. No, we like Anissa because they. Speak they they ruined I dubs. Yeah. Whoa. <sighs> mm. Made him into a fucking beta cuck. <laughs> it's not as funny anymore. She's, I laugh. She's. I, I'm go. Couldn't be me. Yeah. I go. Oh. Okay, buddy. Me and Alpha, a Zeta. No, she's muscle ma'am <laughs> to you. No, she's not muscle ma'am. Muscle ma'am. She's ma controlling his life and stealing his. <laughs> like, if he chose to marry her, that would be different. But she's just completely taken over. It was Until arranged, then. from what I heard. Are they right? married? Are they it was married? arranged, huh? They are married. Yeah, it was arranged. Th that's how most marriages go. No, oh, they they arrange a marriage, you plan it, and then you get married. No, this was an arranged marriage. What does that mean? Well, you know what an arranged marriage is? Like every every wedding parents. takes like a year to plan. So no, you no, gotta no, arrange no, arranged, everything. Have you never together. had an arranged marriage? Um, 
Not this lifetime. Well, probably in a past lifetime, you've had several. Mm -hmm. I probably have too. That's where your parents Hopefully. are like, oh, you're gonna, uh, you know, this, this, oh. this man, this, this man has two cows. So you're going to bestow yourself for the rest of your life to him. Right. And then uh, most of the time it works out. Yeah. I wonder what her dowry was. Anissa's? Yeah. Probably, probably stealing his fucking ad <laughs> revenue. <laughs> That's a oh, dowry? And his sense no, of humor. her dowry <laughs> is something that she gives or her family gives. What, what would Anissa's dowry have been? I think Matt said it perfectly clear. Yeah. I... His sense of humor. She he sure doesn't anything. have it anymore. Dude, I, I'm going to be so sad if Ian and Anissa like, see these clips and they're like, what the hell? <laughs> I know. It's like, we, we had them in this cool fucking First Sam Hyde, now what the hell is this? You had Sam Hyde on? Yeah. yeah. Why? We're friends with him. <laughs> I, we're no, best friends. We have okay? not had Sam Hyde on and, and us ragging on Anissa ruining Ian is, is, is just making fun of all those fucking bros that... <laughs> Think that like oh I've seen him yeah I've seen him I the the Sam Reddit Hyde boys. recently did it on a on a on the PKA podcast PK uh, it's like a, well, remember he's doing it he's doing it ironically yeah uh, yeah yes. so it's Always. so it's really just all a joke he's donating money to far right groups ironically it's, yeah because it is funny it is it is pretty funny yeah because why do people care so much about things <laughs> That's fuck off you know isn't life that. much better if uh, if uh, Everyone else shoulders the burden of caring about things, and I can just whimsically go through and make fun of all of it. Exactly. Exactly. You That's get the it. life of a YouTuber. <laughs> I mean, are you wrong? We need. Oh, we, you had a little. We no, need wait. that one user. Snail. Oh shit! Was not expecting that. It no. spooked me. Snails aren't even fast. Guys, you should have seen it coming. Oh, yeah, it was. Well, I'm not. I don't have really great reflexes, unfortunately, <laughs> due to my in, uh, my um condition. Condition. Yeah. I'm Correct. not injured. Your illness. Condition or Jordan. I'm strong. I uh you're a warrior. <laughs> okay. You're a fighter, man. I'm a mm -hmm. fucking warrior. Ryan McGee. You're... Ryan is a warrior. It's from Creator Clash. You saw you saw both of us get the shit beat out. Yeah, you were at Creator Clash. I was at Creator Clash. How did I... you like our fight? Can you tell us your reaction? Oh uh, honest okay, go from the very beginning. When I come yeah. out to when Ryan is done with his. So like like we're the first two fights of the night. Uh, a yes. review. Okay, I remember Matt's fight. I was so excited. It's the first fight of the night. Mm -hmm. And I'm so excited. And I'm trying to take pictures. And then it was over. And I'm like, oh. Uh -huh. I, didn't, I didn't understand that it was over for good. I thought I it was just either. the first round. I, I was very I confused by that. And they but... asked me if I was good to go. And I was like, yeah, I'm good to go for another round. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, they're like, it's done. And I was like, oh. Yeah. I was... Maybe there was some accidental miscommunication where they you thought it. you said you're. I was so relieved yeah. to be honest, though. I was like, oh, well, that's hey, it, baby. It's all over that's now. That's all, folks. It's in the past. Yeah. But no, I I thought that was uh, a good one, and I I think I got some photos from there. And then Ryan's was yours next, or was mm -hmm. it yep. yeah, immediately next? Matt. Yay! Um, that one was good. That one was a bloodbath, and I think when yeah. I talked to Anissa, she was just like, we expected it to be a bloodbath. They oh, I'm knew. glad they said the most brutal fight of the night. It was by far. brutal. It was just dunk, dunk. That was dunk. That, Dude, was that, the that best one match. was that one was hard to watch because it, it was it was just so fucking like every punch was like oh oh and it just kept going. You guys just kept fucking socking each other and you had blood all over your. Oh, Dude, I watched back yeah. the photo and I'm seeing like all the blood. Like, Dude, did you see your nose? It looks break? badass. Uh, I can tell that it was broken. I never felt it though. When did you have your? Are we allowed to talk about this? This is about this? two weeks. We've all had we a We can talk about my no surgery. We've all had a no surgery. Yeah. Yeah. We, all just, of we us. just can't talk about my other surgery. No, that's surgery. that's not. No, 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 no. That's, that's my vasectomy. Luke. Vasectomy. You had one? Mm hmm. No way. Yeah. yeah. Hell yeah. Make that two. Thank you. I think you have about three years to reverse it if you want to. I don't want Why to would I reverse it? I'm, some people I want spill to. I'm any just... little gremlins onto this. The super mega challenge is going to get a vasectomy. Go get a vasectomy. Be, Go. Be like brothers Matt and Ryan. Vasectomy time, baby. Are you both getting a vasectomy? We both have vasectomies. V had? Together. We've had our vast difference snipped. <laughs> Not at the same time. Oh. But we well, went together. We went we together. Were... They did one at a time. Yeah. It's like you go to the barber, you're not going to get your hair cut the same time as your friend. You know, same mm -hmm. with your fucking, you know, Because we both like the same barber, so to speak. Okay. Okay, I hear that. And, you know, you've been going first for probably the last three times, and I thought we were going to trade off who gets to go first when we go to the barber. But that's mm -hmm. a, a conversation for another day. Yeah. Um. But, yeah, Creator Clash. You had a good time, though. Good times. No, yeah, see I'm excited to go guys. next year and just 
hang out with people and watch. It, it feels like what people, what creators want out of VidCon, where you just kind of see your yeah. buddies and yeah. you just hang out. But I've never seen an event that do... brings all these creators and then get the together. Shit yes. Yeah. I mean, everyone wants to see people they know get beat up. It was it's fun. It was a nice it experience. Was. No, no, no. From the audience, it ruined I will the rest say, of my life. But most of us, oh shit, most of us were like, obviously, we're happy to see you guys. But a lot of us, like watching, we're like, we're genuinely very afraid for our friends. We don't want to see them hurt, hurt. So Justin said, I remember Justin was interviewed by someone. He's like, I just, uh, they're like, do you want to see them fight again? He's like, I know, I just don't want to see them get hit. I think no. and so. Uh, I'm stepping down from 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 the boxing, from the boxing. I think it's realm. time we officially announce this. Uh, yeah. You want to look into this camera? Ryan and I uh, of Super Mega, uh, we would like to officially uh, announce that we are retiring from our boxing careers. It's not an easy decision to make, uh, you know, but but this is something that that we have to do for for us, and. I want to thank everyone for. I can't continue to act sad anymore. Hurry it up! Hurry it up! Hurry it up. I, thank you, everyone, for su for supporting our match, all the matches we did, and uh, we're officially retired as boxers. On our Wikipedia pages, please put retired boxer. <laughs> that means that YouTuber that. retired <laughs> boxer. Retired please boxer. retired boxer. No, they'll do it. Also, uh, Nathan said something in our group chat recently. That apparently, those all qualified as pro fights. Really? What? For some reason, yeah. Dad. Yeah. Apparently, those all qualified as pro fights. So How? technically, we Pros are don't fight with sixteen ounce gloves. They fight with like twelves. There was he said there was something where were those classified as pro fights. So technically, Ryan, right. we're professional boxers. I might have got the <laughs> shit beat out of me, but it both still doesn't get rid of that fucking boxers title. Do. We both did. I had more physical damage than you. You My, had more internal well, damage. Yeah. Mine was mine was all your brain, up here. Your, your brain scrambled. Are my pupils big right now? They look like cute little pupils. Cute little pupils, all right. They're, they're big pupils. You know, I took two taps. Compared to, to mine, I have brown eyes, so it might be hard to tell. I get it. I, I got little blueberries. Uh, I think so. I got delicate little blueberries. So delicate. Everyone you're more notices. sensitive to the sun. I might want to just yeah, pop it right out and eat it <laughs> from Tosh Bueno. Yep. 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 <laughs> yes. Yeah. I, I know exactly what you're talking about, man. <laughs> Dude, we lived the same life. I saw him. Up. He came to South Carolina. I saw him live. Dude, when he came to South Carolina, my mom had tickets. He came to Columbia. He also went to Charleston, and my mom's friend had three tickets, gave them to my mom to take me. My mom didn't want me to see Daniel Tosh, didn't tell me she had the tickets until afterwards. Why? She's like, I don't want you to, you know, be into this crass humor. Well, fucking look now, mom. Well, I got to see, so I've seen Tosh.0, George Lopez, and Jeffrey Dunham. George I've Lopez. seen the big three. Back to oh. back in one, one night. <laughs> Do you know George Lopez's scandal? Uh, with his wife? And the, and the kidney? kidney? Yeah! Oh yes, I do know about that one. What that guy? Where he, was, he, he was just like, he was just like, I'm dying. And then she gives him he his was like, kidney and mini cheats on her. Yep. Yeah. That's yikes. Fucked up because we don't have a lot of like icons in like the Latino community for like Mexican actors. George Lopez was kind of it. Maybe Jedward, Jedward, He's Edward Ames, Edward James almost, but George Machete? Lopez. How about Danny oh, Trejo? Danny Trejo. Trejo makes tacos. good donuts, makes good tacos. I volunteered with him recently. It was so really? Cute. Oh yeah, I saw that. Did you, yeah. the, did, you did you see him? Yeah, we we took a photo together. He seems hugged. like a very like, like just kind of like the guy nice from Breaking person. Bad. Yeah, and Spy Kids. Yeah, and Machete. Yes. No. Right. And Machete kills, but Spy not yeah. Machete goes to space or but, whatever because but, they didn't release that. But he's much better than George Lopez. Okay. No. Sure. Okay. No, 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 no. There's no, a fruit no, fly no. that's flying around that salad. You know? Kill well, it. It's, it's just non. Every episode, there's Kill one it. fruit fly in here because we have. Last one, we had a huge. We each had a glass that had 10 beers in it each. And fucking the fruit flies are going crazy. Apparently, you July guys food. had shrimp or something, and all you can whip out for me is like salad. Sa there are really good. Um, Salads are served at very. High class restaurants. Listen, Sabrina, so is shrimp. We're trying to think of what does she want. I said she'll shrimp. have a salad. No, I'll take a shrimpy. Next, she'll have hey, a salad. Next I'll time you come on, we'll have sh sh shrimp crawfish. Crawfish. Let's I don't, do. I don't, let's, I don't like those. They're, they're big. They're, just... they're fancier than shrimp. Crawdads. Good lobster or crab. What are where the crawdads? Okay. Crab what? cakes. I love crab cakes. I'll do a crab cake. You like crab cakes? I love crab cakes. And she crab soup. Hey, yes. Get, sorry, I get really excited. Do you guys want to get ramen? She crab soup is so good. Oh, that sounds good. Ramen sounds good. There's too. a Silver Lake ramen that opened up near here. We used to go to Silver Lake ramen all the time. I go to this. I got their Saboru Saboru bowls. How yeah, that one's that? good. Saboru is a Sab sandwich. What's no, the, not that. But it's the Saboru. I know oh, what no, you're talking about. Pizza. There's bowls where it's like rice and egg. 
Ooh. and like protein. Beef. Yeah, and it's good chives well. maybe. I don't know. That sounds good. That, those um, are onions, right? Chives if there's one onions. thing, huh? are chives onions? Yeah. Yes, green They're onions. In the onion okay. family. Yeah. I found well, a bunch are, of, but scallions are also green onions. Yeah. I found uh, chives okay. in the wild ones. So what's the difference between chives and, and scallions? So the chives are like whoop. the chives are like the thin ones where you just kind of eat the little green parts at the end. Okay. And then the green onions they have like a little bit of bulb, and then the Mexican green onions they have like a fatter bulb on the end, and you throw those on the grill, and then you eat them by themselves. What okay. about the ones that grow on God's thumb? <sighs> Can I grill it? I knew she wouldn't get the reference. Holes reference. Hmm? Have you seen holes? holes? Oh, digging up the holes. Yeah, there you go. Dig it up the Those, have you ever bitten an onion raw? No. Yeah, it's uh, not good. I, I've that had pieces of it. I've never lied. bitten it. No, no, no. Bitten an onion. I've, I've, like I've an eaten apple. like a piece of onion and it's no. brutal. No, no, no. Bitten an onion like an apple. Getting all of it in one you bite. As much as your mouth can No matter take. how much you brush your teeth, that's not going away for like two days. No. You've no, tried. No, I, I have. It was for a charity. What is it like the sulfur dioxide or whatever that's in it? Fucking. There's some sort of in chemical in it, but it's the stink. But also, you eat it, and it's like, okay, I'm familiar with onion. But then you feel sick. Oh, it's like disgusting. your stomach feels they sick. They lie. Yeah, like your stomach. Like you're gonna. Maybe we'll do it on a podcast it episode. <gasps> you like a challenge. Should. You and I can it's each. It's not as easy. The at, the begin- of an at the beginning of an episode, we'll both eat onions. And okay. Then, or maybe if we do a whole like movie watch review <gasps> thing, we can eat onions. That's a great idea. Onions and pizza. Have to pee. Yeah. I have to pee too, but I still want to do more podcasts. No, I know, me too. Because I want to talk about Better Call Saul. I, <gasps> I haven't seen. I haven't seen the well, new season. Well, then we can't but talk about it. I did record something with Bob Odenkirk and Nate Odenkirk what? a few months ago. Really? Yeah. Bob. I know. Bob. Bob, Bob you watch the podcast. We know you text us about it all the time. Bob's Bob. like great episode, guys. Better than all the Better Call Sauls I've ever shot. And I'm like, I know, Bob. It's pretty fucking good. You know, Bob is big into the underground comedy community. We're Should more we mainstream. Kind of is, though. We, yeah, let's take turns okay. peeing. I'll be right back. I just no, but urinate. You know, you know, Bob. Bob is is a legend in not just the drama community, but the uh, the comedy community. Yeah, you know, he, Mr. people Show. don't know that. People don't know that he's like into comedy, but he kind of is. Mean, dude, all like Mr. Show, like all of his early stuff, like all that stuff is amazing. <laughs> yeah. And uh, he's a great comedian. He, I mean, he produced a, a lot of the Tim and Eric stuff, mm-hmm. which you know was a big inspiration for me and Ryan. But uh, he's a huge fan of the podcast. He watches it every week and goes, "Man, Matt and Ryan, you guys are so." fucking funny and when i watch you guys i just get filled with such like a sense of glee and joy because like it he doesn't have many friends and he watches it and he goes you know when i listen to it it's like i'm you know hanging out with some friends i never had and it and it just feels he has a parasocial relationship with you that's the one i'll allow well he gets a little pushy (laughs) with it sometimes yeah expects like free merch and stuff and you know ryan and i it's like it's not like it's not like we don't it's like you know we can send you the free merch you know it's no yeah. skin off our back, but it's you know it's like it's kind of the precedent we we don't want to set with him because he just crosses he crosses lines he sometimes crosses with lines. us and, and uh, you should become friends with his son then who who is also no, I mean, breaking I, into comedy. He's a writer, right? Yeah, he's a See, writer. I, I want more writer friends because I want to write more comedy stuff. I'd love to. My dream is to one day write an episode of either SpongeBob or Family Guy. Uh, oh, why? Because I know that. Do you think not, still... not to pump myself up, but I think that's something I could do. I think I could probably write a Family Guy episode. How would you? What would you do? I don't fucking know, but, <laughs> but like I'm confident enough where I, I I like I could sit down and write a Family Guy episode. And mm. if there's any people that work on Family Guy watching this, come on. If anybody who's working on Family Guy watching this, I don't think anyone's working on Family Guy anymore. Oh. I'm just kidding. Fam- no, Family Guy is great. If 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 you get if you need, need a guest writer, me and Ryan will write an episode of Family Guy, and I promise. It would be fucking hilarious. That would be so good. I read a little bit of your book, and I thought, this is so funny. They should write for Family Guy. Yeah, that's what most people think. I I, I was just saying how, like, one of my dreams is to write an episode for Family Guy. And you and I, like, I honestly believe, I'm not trying to gas this up, but I really think you and I could write a good episode of Family Guy. We could. Who's If they gave us the fucking chance, we could actually, like, I think we could make a funny-ass episode of Family Guy. I can see that. Do you have to pee? A little bit. I have to pee as well. <laughs> well, ladies, rock first. paper scissors for it. And but rock, on shoot. Wait, wait, wait. But on rock, sh- paper, sh- okay. sh- rock paper scissors shoot, and then on shoot. Rock, you. Wait, wait, wait. Rock, rock paper, paper scissors, scissors shoot. shoot. Yeah, it's you. Oh, you. I win. Yep. Okay, I'll be right back. So now I just have to try to fill up some. We can talk about Better Call Saul spoilers while she's gone. Oh, that's good because I haven't seen the new season. So go ahead. S- spoiler. Spoiler alert. alert for Better Call Saul. Uh, 
skip ahead to this time in the pot. You can't, sorry, if you're an audio listener, you can't see it. But Luke, put the time where we stop talking about when she comes back so everyone on screen could see it. Thanks, Luke. Mike sucking Jimmy's cock. At the end of the episode, dude, had me. My jaw was on the floor. I literally I did not fucking expect that shit. Bravo, Vince. The last thing I fucking expected. You know, it's like with, with all the recent like deaths and stuff. I'm like, where are they fucking gonna take this? How's the transition gonna happen? But like to just have it go from just like it was a hard cut too. Like it, it, it I was stunned by it. it. It went through a beautiful kind of like desert landscape to all of a sudden just. <laughs> it was fucking awesome. Real talk, the time change shit was really awesome. Cool. After and I thought it was, the, it was the perfect way to kind of go into the time change. From, no, dude. From the Jimmy uh, era to the better Saul. Cult, to the Saul that era. That was the best episode. That was That is one of the best episodes of television I have ever seen in any show. Like, that's kind of up there with Ozymandias from Breaking Bad for me. I still think Ozymandias is better. No, Ozymandias, it's going to be very hard to top. Yeah. Same with Tohajali, the episode We still that came have four before. episodes left of Better Call Saul, though. And these are the same writers that wrote Ozymandias. Mm hmm. So, you know. Here's what I'll say, man. Uh, There's still a lot. We can talk about spoilers because we already gave everyone the warning. Um, Basically, the time skip, you know, Better Call Saul. We've, you guys have listened to us talk about it for years because we've been watching it as the season progressed. Since it came out. Yeah. Uh, I watched the first episode live when it aired on TV and I loved it. And now there's only four episodes left and they finally, everyone, the big question is like, what's the transition from Jimmy to Saul? Because they're expecting it to be this moment. Or a lot of people are, for some reason, expecting it to be, like, this moment that it switches. It's like, and and they do this beautiful, beautiful fucking time jump from the end of the Better Call Saul, like, Jimmy era to the Saul era from Breaking Bad. But I'm guessing it's still, like, apparently from what people found about the license. license it's only, like, a year and, and a half in the future. Yeah, well, it's, like, a year, it's a year and a half from the actual Better Call Saul event. Right. Which Breaking Bad starts or from the actual Breaking Bad event. Well, Breaking Bad starts in November two thousand eight, and this is two thousand five. So there's so still three. a lot of time. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I do know that episode twelve of this season have uh, has Walt and Jesse. Okay, that's that's been leaked. Hey, what's hey. up, dude? Hunter's coming into town soon, right? Is he? Meat Canyon? I think so. That's what is he? Well, he hasn't told my white ass. Yeah, he hasn't told me either. That's what Justin was saying. That he was just oh well. Oh, so Justin's been talking to Hunter. <laughs> going going behind our backs. Jim, you, while she's pissing, do you want to? Sit down. Oh, oh, no, no, Jim, it's fine. What were you asking about champagne? I said it was the bottle of champagne good. I like the first one. The first one I was like way the sec- better. The cheaper I like the second one, one more. The cheaper one is better. Oh, really? It's too sweet. It was way too sweet. This, you want to try this? This Are you is. Gonna hang with us for the Jim, podcast? this is the expensive one. No, I'm just gonna try it. Jim, you oh, can okay. you can chill if you want. You can yeah, just like appear Actually, in Jim, the next frame. Jim, I have to piss, <laughs> so you can take my role on the oh. podcast. <gasps> that one's better. No, yes, that's the che- that's the no, cheap one, or that's, that's the expensive the- one. That's the expensive. I like that one. Oh. Taste taste the cheap. Oh. Yeah, taste the cheap one. Taste the cheap one. Is There's gone? maybe a drop. Wow. It's too oh, sweet. Fuck. I drank it all. Really See if you can get Thank a. Thank you. I like I mean, funky it's... wines. I See like. See if you funky can get a champagne. drop out of there, Jim. If not, there's a sip. There's a Jim sip trying in my to cup. squeeze his cock while having there's sex. A sip of my cup. <laughs> what did you just say? Nothing. It's a drop. Is there no? Was there? Was there no? I'm just gonna sip mine now. Here, Jim. I gotta go pee. So. Oh, Take Matt's place. Jim, I Not got a forever. lot of funky wines I wanted to show you, but now I've, after seeing that, maybe I can't show you. I just you. don't really like that. It's okay. I'm not a big champagne guy. Champagne. What? Right? No, not really. Champagne's so nice. Champagne's fun. We were talking about the Better Call Saul. No, spoilers. don't tell me. No, no more I spoilers. Seen the, new episode, the new season. There's a blowjob. Are so. they all <gasps> nice? Are Jimmy, they all... I gotta suck your cock. <laughs> Jimmy, I don't want to do this. Jimmy. It's time for me to suck your penis. Oh, Mike. Nice. Mike, just, please. Mike. Mike, I, I, ah. What's the Saul voice? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> That's pretty good. Is that good? Did I get a That's Bob Odenkirk? It's like a little bit Kirk. <laughs> Howard's, Howard's in the corner. No, you're coming back in. You're just taking Matt's place when he Jimmy. goes to, go yeah. pee. Wait, wait, wait. Howard goes. Go piddle. Jimmy, I could suck a better cock than that. Yep. That's then spoilers, Howard's spoilers, yeah. spoilers, Sorry, spoilers. sorry, sorry. All right. I was telling her about how big of a fan Odin Kirk is. Yeah. <laughs> Jim, have you ever like officially been on the podcast? No, I've never been on. This is the first time. You, this is the first time you've visibly uh, been Luke, on a podcast. Yeah, you've yeah. seen my ass, I think, Luke, a couple put a times. Lower third of Jim's name and his Twitter handle, and uh, uh, Jim, uh, not his Twitter handle. Cross it out. Let's Come go on. ahead and blur it out. Let's, yeah. Let's go ahead and uh, Jim tell tell everyone about. Maybe it. if you have a Snapchat or something. You're not supposed to be on Twitter. A Snapchat? I'm not a fucking. <laughs> 
real, dude. Well, Jim, you're always on what's, kick. What's your WhatsApp? I'm not on kick. Don't <laughs> say Jim. that. What's your WhatsApp? I don't have a WhatsApp either. I don't mess with all that other stuff. If you have a Snapchat at this age, you're no. you're What's this age? you're a pervert. What's I still this age? Snapchat my friends. I mean, we used to send each other all the time snaps yeah. of us pissing. I believe that. I was that. about to say it was about to well, be a pooper piss. That. Well, it was mainly me committing the sin where I would we would send each what can I say committing this? the sin? Um, I say that smile. Should I not say this one? Can I tell this one? What? And it wasn't just you; it was a lot of people. Dude, I, the more you allude to it, the worse it sounds. Wait, what's just say it. Oh, okay, well snaps? let's let's hear a wild guess. What do you think it is? I think you would send a video of you. From a certain angle, shitting into a toilet. Yes. Wow. But I didn't. Was I right? But I. But I didn't. But I didn't like those. Are you sure? No, I like the peeing ones. The peeing ones were much better. See, I have friends that really like the shitty ones, and I didn't. I don't like seeing your orifice gape open. Oh, oh, it was from that angle, dude. Yeah, no, it was. Yes, I thought it would at least be from like. No, Jim, it's it's like like. In, and no, then, like, that, front no. camera. No. I haven't done this in years. Okay, wait, 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 wait. I have one question. I have one question. Have you shit on your phone? No. What? What? No. Jim. He was putting it. He said he would put it like Jim, close it, to the it's, hole. It's very. It's very. I've peed on my phone before. What? Right. Accident, <laughs> accidentally, it wasn't How on do purpose. You accidentally pee on your phone. You don't do it on purpose. <laughs> God damn it. How did you pee on your phone? By because you there's a shot you can get where the stream's going over the phone. No. Yeah, okay, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, because Ryan and I send pictures to the, each when other you're at the urinal. We're basically and, and guys listening, this is a fantastic picture. It's a great to angle. Send somebody. Ryan taught me this. The first time I saw it, I lost my shit. Okay. I'm like, I didn't even think about that. Jim. I'm visualizing. Let me go. Okay, ready? Mm -hmm. So you have the, the phone like right here. Uh -huh. You're peeing, you pee over the phone, so the stream is in front of the camera, and then you just put your face in it. So it's just like it's just you making a face with a stream of piss. And the pee. Yeah, it's a great angle. Yeah, that's funny. Is that how you did noob dude? Oh, the no, noob no, that, dude. I just put the camera there and piss. It looked like you peed all over that phone, by the way. But you didn't. I didn't pee on the phone. No. Uh, it looks like you missed what did a you lot. Did you pee on? Well, in did the you toilet. pee into the urinal? I know I peed. In the, it was a toilet. You peed on the toilet or into the toilet? Into the toilet. Okay. Some oh got God. on the toilet, but I will say I. After I finished shooting that shot, I was like, okay, there's some piss. I did my due diligence, and I got a ton of toilet paper, and I, I wiped down the toilet seat. I wiped the floor just to make sure, because I'm not going to be that guy that's going to fucking piss on the toilet seat and bounce. Didn't Because guys I, that do that, fuck you. Yeah, I, If I, you're I, one of those, and, and I know there's, a, there's at least... Wait, 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 wait. What about, do you guys wash your hands after you pee? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Mm. Most of the lied. time. What's so? Yeah, I, I know. Have... I know when Matt's lying. Matt just lied. No, he doesn't know when I'm lying. Yes, I do. Jim doesn't know me, dude. With... I know you very well. With no, he... soap. He's lying again. Yeah, it was soap. Yeah, it was soap. <laughs> he's lying <laughs> again. <laughs> dude, he's lying again. <laughs> oh man. Hey, I remember? I do remember you telling me one thing about you taking a poop video where you missed the toilet. Oh. That, no, that that was Ryan. Oh, that, and that's was, one of our most no. famous podcast moments of all time. What? I think the episode is called The Disaster. I was doing one of the angles where it was going to be... The angles? Like like me, it would be like an empty toilet bowl and then it would go... Yeah, right, Ryan, right into the bowl. That, so there, and instead of going... There's two angles, ready? There, there's, there's the inside the toilet bowl, uh -huh. the front-facing camera. And then there's the like, you know, have some space here, film it like this, and then blast it. Ryan was doing one of those, but he was like standing up. <laughs> wait, he was standing up. Wait, wait, wait. wait so do you don't know this story, dude? How no, 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 no. Was like standing up. This. I remember. Dude, I, I just it, remember it's, Ryan it's said like, one time I missed, and I think been, that was it. It's been it. like two hundred podcast episodes in this story, and it's mo it's a lot of people's favorite stories. So you can read. Why? It and I, won't be mad. I would love your for you to read. From your perspective, okay. it's a lot better. Okay. But you had to make sure to talk into a mic. I'm gonna grab that. Dear God. Talking to a mic, Matt. Because even though you're far away, that yeah. the voice still like these are these mics want you to be close to. See, yeah, go for it. Tell your truth, Matt. Yeah, here we so go. This is what it feels like to be a guest on the Super Mega Cast. <laughs> That's pretty nice, right? It's, it's a comfy couch. It's good. It's um, a comfy couch. Yeah, yeah it's, it's nice. Um, she was sexy, so I'll tell you what. But basically, big comfy couch, a clown girl. What are you talking about? Go on about? with the story. Okay. Go on with the story. Uh, Ryan and I used to live in this apartment complex in Glendale where we started Super Mega, mm -hmm. right? And that's the, the found the founding the establishment. Yes, and and we recorded in our apartment. Super Mega was erected actually at Markiplier's old. Technically, place. at Markiplier's house where we where we created Super Mega, 
and we recorded some of the like the first let's play there but then we moved very quickly like the next week into a place and that's where we did the first podcast we did the first everything so uh you know it, it's an apartment complex with elevators to get to the floor we're on and you have to have a fob to get up we're out walking around glendale and ryan's like dude fuck i gotta take a fucking shit dude and i'm like no, all right we're on the way back he's like no 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 no, i gotta take a shit and he beelines it and i and i you know i kind of follow him we get use our fob we get into the lobby <laughs> And Ryan's like, we weren't about to go up into it because why would I have done that in there? No, I remember we, we were, were we were going up. Oh, we, we were, were going upstairs. Going, oh, but and I was, you said you said no. I can't wait. Yeah, I have to go here. And he, he ran to the uh, lobby toilet. The lobby toilet. <gasps> Because there's like a bathroom. And it's, that's a nice bathroom. It me. is. That was a really nice. Bathroom. Oh, it was. Sounds like it was. Yeah, it was. And right, you know, I I sit in the lobby to wait for him. And, I, and I'm sitting on, like, the, you know, like, the couch where people that are, like, looking at leasing sit. Yeah. Like, I'm sitting there, and I'm, like, on my phone, just chilling. This is, what, 2016? Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> Ryan's in there for, like, 10, 15 minutes. And he comes out just white as a ghost. <laughs> and, <laughs> and he's got this look on his face. And he's, like, let's, let's go up to the apartment. And I'm, like, what? what are you Are you okay? And he's, like. <laughs> Check your phone. Check your check your Snapchat. <laughs> <laughs> and I <laughs> I open this Snapchat and, and it's like, you know, <laughs> you know when a video starts and like the first frame, there's no flash, and then like you see the flash turn on. <laughs> it's like that. It's like it's like yeah. and so it's like, just it's yeah. the it's the <laughs> empty toilet it's bowl. It's the toilet bowl, like the inside of the toilet bowl, and you just hear this god awful sound. <laughs> But you see nothing happen in the toilet. No! You see nothing happen. And it's just empty. I mean, I mean, the phone sits still for a second and it shakes and stops. And Ryan lets me know that he was like standing up to take this video. Just overshot completely. Missed the toilet. I sent you a picture of it. I saw, the I, I saw a picture, dude. It's literally like, <laughs> imagine like a public toilet and like someone, I, I don't even know how to describe it, like took like a, like, like if you took like a Ziploc bag of chocolate pudding <laughs> and you got like a, like an MLB, like famous pitcher to throw it as hard as they could at the back of the toilet. That's what it looked like. And it was everywhere. <laughs> and Ryan, I cleaned it up. No. <laughs> I cleaned it all. That's he what got on his knees. So he got on his knees and he spent 10 minutes cleaning and gagging. <laughs> <laughs> and I wish I had that fucking video. Dude. That was before you could record the iPhone screen and holy shit. Well, it's now just in our memory. <laughs> yep. Oh, you do a Thank good God. job of describing it though. Oh my God. So that, that, that's probably the hardest I think I've ever laughed <laughs> in my entire life. I still remember like laughing harder than I think I ever had. That's absolutely disgusting. I'm really glad that you cleaned it up, though. That shows you're a respectable human being. Thank you. I clean my piss up. But you don't wash your hands. I did. I never. I said I washed my hands, well. Jim. I clean. That reaction. I smells you know hands. I washed my hands when I first went to the restroom here, and the soap was dry. <gasps> the soap was dry when I wow. washed Wow. So, Wait, the bar of soap? The bar of I don't soap. fucking use a bar of soap. What I used to use? fucking... The Myers. Why is there a the Myers. pumpy one? Every sink I in this only... place has a pumpy no, thing. No, no. I checked there was no pumpy one or else I would have used it. Instead, I had to use a bar of soap with like a pube on it or something. If that's it was, a, probably, it was probably facial hair. Yeah. Not pubes. Jim? No. You no. shower here. Jim, you, you actually shower... showered here yesterday. <laughs> I showered here yesterday, but, <laughs> but, but I used... Uh, I used a hand towel and I, I dried off in, in the shower. Oh, God shower, damn you, it. Wait, 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 wait. Used uh -huh. a hand towel? That hand towel that I used to open all the champagne with? <laughs> <laughs> See it? Oh, yeah. God. Yeah, bring that hand towel up. Is that the same one? Where is it? This is how we're all going to get pregnant. This one, Jim. Oh, yeah, that's... <laughs> yeah. Is that it? Yeah. Yeah, that's Dude, what that's what I used to open the champagne. <laughs> I was, I was, there was no full size towel, so I had to use this. I have a towel. I've been, Rav and Lex are crashing here and they, they take all the towels. And yeah. They, they, Rav has this thing where he, he wants to be environmentally friendly, so he wipes his ass with towels I and mean, then he washes it in the washing machine. It's perfectly natural and fine. It is. It's recycling. But, yes. And, and honestly, it's saving, it's, you know, his carbon footprint is reduced. But basically, yes. that, the towels I was, are brown now, though. 
when he drinks bleach, it, it, it does leave that yeah. residue. But basically, like, I needed to open these, and I know that, like, to open a champagne bottle, you need a fucking... So I walked around the house, the Plex. I walked around the Mega Plex, and I'm like, I need something to open this. And I went in the bathroom, and I saw that. And I was like, oh, okay, cool. Like, this is... People have just used their hands to wash this. It's and the only towel by the shower. It's touch. That towel has touched. Jim, I think it's about time that you take that towel back to where it came from and... Give Matt his seat back. You're, it's making me uncomfortable. We all make mistakes, and I think this one's this one's not my mistake. Matt, I think it's Matt's, Matt's mistake. Okay, actually, Jim, no, it is your mistake because if you dried your cock and balls and ass off with that towel, why did you hang it back up on the fucking towel because rack? Because where towels go. As, as we all use our hands. No, no, to Jim, dry our hands. Yes, it's where towels go. But I put it on the towel. Rack. I put, put on the towel hand towel rack. If you towel your asshole off and then put it as the only towel in the bathroom, so when I wash my hands and turn around, I'm like, oh, here we go. No, what's the guy that's to immoral. do? What's a guy to do in this situation? He just never knew. He didn't think the truth would come out. No. No, I didn't think he would use this fucking towel. And I think he should go spend some time in time. Jim, out. I think. Okay, he goodbye. No, Jim, I, I. Well, everyone, that's no. you know, you've heard us talk about Jim a lot. That's our that's our newest <laughs> that's, employee. That's the Jim. Netflix. That's Jim. He runs the social media. He he he's like our faux manager. You can take your seat back. He does he does the most work at Super Mega out of anyone. Or you can take Matt's seat. Oh yeah, sure. We're gonna wrap it up here in a bit. I'm sure. Sure, yeah. You know, Jim does more work at Super Mega than anyone else combined. More sure. than you guys? No, not at no. We we we're the hardest working humans in on YouTube. People that. don't see that sometimes, and it really pisses us off. Yeah, they th they say we're lazy and we're not producing as much content as we did back when we were young and and ha and passionate. Well, guess time. what? Yeah, guess what? Eddie Burback drops one video every two months, and he doesn't get any and no fucking one's fucking shit. mad no, about that. Nobody's... We drop twenty videos a month, and people go, oh, not enough. Fuck! There's no winning. There's no fucking winning. There's no fucking winning with these people. That's the internet. It is. That's showbiz, baby. That's showbiz, baby. It's Hollywood. Anyway, Sabrina. What's up? Please let everyone know where they can find you. You want to plug anything? Are you part of a pyramid scheme you want to promote? Yeah. I'm not part of any pyramid screen do you screams. Have, do you have like streams? an Amazon wish list? I don't. I don't. I'm just Abelina Sabrina. I have mine, I have mine posted on on we should both publicly post ours. <laughs> Sorry, we not to should. talk over you. Yeah, no, not to manplane over me. But manplane. Yeah, because there's no S in mansplain. There's no man. There's nope. It's not about the letters. It's about the, the consonants and the sounds. Again, they're manplaning to me. Th that's literally how it works. No. English, like the letters, don't fucking matter. C mm -hmm. that makes multiple sounds. C. No. Yeah. J. Yeah. What fucking jif or G jif? Gif. Giraffe. Goop. It what are we gonna do with like all that. this salad? No, oh, you're gonna eat it and you're gonna like it. Well, you can take it home. Yeah, that's your souvenir from the office. We were gonna give you a copy of our book, but we decided. To I give already you read it. You Did didn't you like it? it. How does it, it end? Okay. How does it end? It's so good. How, how does it end? Oh, how does it end? Yeah. What political figure did we kill at the end? So let alone kill a friend, and then in the book they they have a lot going on. You actually read the book? Mm-hmm. You've actually read the book? Oh. Yeah. That's actually surprising. That really warms my heart. Yeah. Thank you for reading the book. Not, not many of our friends have read it. They're like, oh, these guys, you know. Okay, well, Justin good job. didn't read it until welcome. he knew there was a test for it. Yeah, and we lost the footage of that, so. Yeah. But did, Sabrina. Did we lose the footage? Yeah, we lost the footage. Oh yeah. So we got to, in a couple months, we'll redo that video. Yeah. We'll have to write a brand new test, though. Okay. Right. Thank you for coming on the podcast. Do you guys want to go get ramen? I'm down to get ramen. What, what, uh... What, what, what do you want people to get for you, though? Like, like mm -hmm. where can they find you? Oh, you can find me at abelinasabrina.com. No, Abelina Luke, Luke, you're gonna have to, Luke, you're going to have to put Subtitles, that on screen. do something. And also go donate to invisible people. Invisible people. <laughs> donate to invisible people. Yeah. Wait, is there also an organization called Invisible Children? Those but, are for all the invisible children who didn't make it to Who got creation. aborted. They need so money too. Me too. Aren't you glad you weren't aborted? No. Checkmate. <laughs> Never Anywhere else? Got a YouTube channel? No, oh, yeah. YouTube.com slash Alina Sabrina. Twitch? I stream on Twitch at Twitch. 
Luke.tv slash Avalanche Sabrina. Luke, throw it up. It's in the description. Everyone, go check out Sabrina. She's a she's a wonderful friend of ours. And when we're all I 65, like these boys. when we're all 65, we'll probably you know still be drinking wine and goofing off. Hell yeah. Or dead. Yeah. So uh, I guess that's the end of this episode. Sabrina, thank you. This is that's actually, all, folks. This is our longest episode in a very long time. Should I burn myself? Psych. Bye. Bye. Okay, that hurt. (laughs) Matt and Ryan, that was not funny. But I love Super Mega.